Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Happy Wednesday to each and every one of you. I'm thrilled, excited, jubilant to have you all on the program today. Hope you had a wonderful night's sleep. I've had a busy morning. I got up early and I've been working on uh, a new lore video that I was hoping to get done by today, but uh, ran into a few roadblocks, so probably going to have to get it done by tomorrow. Uh, and uh, then I've got another one that I'm trying to get done for the weekend. Lots of content in production, taking up a lot of my time, but it's all going to be worth it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Now, today we've got quite a delicate dance that we are going to have to perform during the broadcast. Let me try and break down my plan here. So, if you were there yesterday for the for the broadcast yesterday, you'll recall that at the very end we kind of stumbled into a really important plot point that had significant ramifications towards the fate of essentially all of our companions. Um, and I wasn't prepared to deal with that at the moment. Uh, I didn't want to make the decision. And also, I, fe I felt at the time that um, if I just kept on playing, I will have missed out on the companion stories for one of my companions. So, the plan was to reload an earlier save before that event happened and continue to play with that companion until we unlock all of her story and then we go back to the plot beat and make that decision and we can move on from there. So, off camera, I reloaded a save back to where we were on the scroll and I had to loot the entire ship again. That's every item, every weapon case, every locked door container. All of it, I unlocked it all over again. Uh, it took me a long time. And uh, I decided, remember yesterday we left all of the contraband, uh, contraband items on the scroll because I didn't want to have to deal with landing at New Atlantis or Aquila City and it being scanned and all of that. But if we're now going to be traipsing around the universe not doing the primary plot, we might as well go tackle the wolf system. Uh, that's one location many people in the chat told me was a place that I could safely offload a bunch of illegal goods. So where I'm at now is I think what we'll do is we'll leave the scroll. We'll go to the wolf system We'll unload all of the illegal contraband goods safely, then go to Aquila City, pay for our bounty, and then here's the next hiccup. We're at a point in the plot where we have to be with Barrett. He has to be our companion. I wonder how we're going to get Sarah back. I don't know. I wanted to get Sarah back so that we can play with her and unlock her full story, but she's currently locked out as a companion. We can't get her back. She's currently aboard the Eye. Remember, she ran off to the Eye. So now that I think about it, I don't know if even now we're going to be able to get her back to, to unlock her story. But we do have Barrett. So maybe we should just continue with Barrett finish unlocking his story, and then sadly, I guess that means he'll be the companion that doesn't make it out. Which isn't really what I want, because I kind of like Barrett, and Sarah annoys me. <laughs> so, I mean, if I had to choose between the two, I think I'd, I'd like to continue traveling with Barrett. All right, it's good to see everybody. Sorry, I've, I've been too focused on trying to figure out how I'm going to tackle the broadcast today that I forgot to pay attention to chat. One second. Sorry, everybody. Just got a text. The chair will entertain you for a moment. I'll be right back.
Thank you for your patience. Sorry about that. Had to do some heavy lifting, and now I've got cobwebs all over my sleeves. All right, let me get Facebook up here. All right, good to see you, Toby, Danny, Roman, Alicia, Stephen. Alicia says, hey, Ox, I just finished lunch. Back to work after my cigar. My car is filled with smoke. Have a great day coming all the way from Toronto. <laughs> Alicia, that's great. I wonder what your coworkers think about you taking a lunch break and heading on over to your car for a quick uh, cigar smoke. <laughs> no, that's wonderful. Well, I'm glad you're here today. Uh, and Garrett is in the chat. Good to see you, Garrett. All right, let me get these rolled up here and we can move on. There we go. And of course, it's good to see all of the regulars and the members and the Patreon supporters on YouTube today. Retro Wave, Slatty Bartfest, Annie Moose, Mr. Jocked, Naka Michael, Julian Z, Ash Malachi, 200 Angel, Quintaius, Slatty Bartfast. And it's Jay with the first super chat of the day. Says, Ox, hey Ox, don't finish MSQ until you're done exploring. Many have reported going too fast and ruining their experience. Two, do the UC and Crimson Fleet quest line, some of the best quests I feel Bethesda has ever done enjoy. Okay, MSQ. This is a problem when people use acronyms in chat. I don't always know what they mean. What is MSQ? Main sequence? MSQ? Don't finish the main sequence until you're done exploring. Exploring what? Because, listen, I've been told from the very beginning when I started this game that the game doesn't even open up until after the primary plot, which is one of the reasons why I've been trying to focus on the primary plot so that the game opens up, right? And we can start doing all of the side quests and exploring all of the factions. But now you're saying that I, I shouldn't be doing that? Is that, is that what you're suggesting? That it's going to ruin the experience if I do that? MSQ main story quest. Well, I mean, I'm already to a point in the main story quest where I've kind of locked myself out of using a particular companion and someone's going to die. So I don't, I don't know how that's kind of, is that going to ruin it for me? <laughs> Even, or Evan Johnson became a gold ox. Thank you so much, Evan Johnson. Nightmaster85 says, will you make a Starfield review video once you complete the game? Probably not. I don't really do reviews. I mean, I've played dozens and dozens of games. I've never done a game review. I'm not sure why I would do so now. Um, so, yeah. Besides, I, I kind of re review the game as I go along. From a broadcast to broadcast, I'll, I'll chime in with my tidbits of wisdom. Jackson says, you'll have to go back before the eye maintenance quest to fully open followers. And the wolf system is near Alpha Centauri. Yeah, I really don't want to have to go through the Scrow quest again because that uh, took an enormous amount of time. I've already had to reload a save and loot the entire starship all over again. So I'm not going to load on another save. If that's the case, if I can't get Sarah back because she's locked out until I deposit the artifact, then I think we're just going to work on Barrett's story. Get it done. At least we will have gotten his entire story. And then I guess we'll have to choose him to be the one that dies. Which is not ideal. But that's the situation we're dealing with now. Ours says, can you visit Earth in the game? You can. And I would really like to know exactly how many landmarks and point of interests we can unlock on Earth. Because I'd love to do a lore video about how, you know, what Earth is like uh, at this point in time. But so far, after reading every single book I get my hands on, the only location I've found is London. We can see the Shard, the remains of the Shard in, in London. We visited that in a previous broadcast, and that's about it. So I, I've, I've, I'm told there are tons of other 
um, snow globes that we can collect. We collected a snow globe on the moon. But uh, yeah, I would really love to see what else we can unlock on Earth. Is, is London the only one? I don't know. If it's the only one, I might as well just do a quick lore video on Earth, going over what happened to Earth and so on and so forth. But um, yeah, I'm not sure if we've actually covered everything there is on Earth. Demi Nark says, uh, I hope you finished all special side quests before NG+. I want to see you take on the Terror Morph Shocking Revelation lore. Thank you, Demi Nark. Uh, Nark. Um, I don't plan on doing a new game plus until I do everything. I guess I don't understand. There are a lot of people... So I don't understand because I'm not there yet. There are a lot of people who keep coming into my chat talking about new game plus, but... From the way I understand New Game Pluses to work in the games that I've played, you start all the way over at the beginning again with maybe the guns that you collected up until that point and all of the experience, and you can just continue to build your character, but you just go through all the story again. And that's not what I want to do. I don't want to play a New Game Plus. I just want to continue playing the character that I have and go through all of the content, like finish exploring absolutely everything. But then people are saying that New Game Plus does something else with the plot. Um, so, I don't know. Jay says, yes, main story. Some have restarted 100-hour saves because the statement to Rush turned out to be false. Most say stop before repairing the eye. You can still do companion stuff in NG+. Plus. Uh... Main story, some have restarted 100-hour saves because the statement to Rush turned out to be false. Okay. Um, I really don't want to have to go through that entire quest again and loot all of that junk all over again. Um, yeah, but then that means... It's, it's okay. I've made, my, I've made my decision. We're, we're going to have Barrett killed. It's the only way to get through this right now. Uh, Bad Boy Beta says, Oxhorn in New Game Plus, you lose all of your gear, but keep your skill and level. Why, why would I want to do that? Like, why would I ever want to do that? The point of the game is to loot. Why would I spend an entire gameplay looting only to get to New Game Plus? Hey, Oxhorn, you have an opportunity to lose all your loot, but you get to play New Game Plus and do it all again. Why would I do that? Is there a reason to do that? I don't know. But I'm not even there yet. I haven't even completed the primary quest. So I don't even know if we need to worry about New Game Plus right now. Michael uh, Seacrest says, Cairo, Shanghai, New York, and Paris are available. All right, well, I need to figure out how to get the books that get those landmarks placed on Earth so that I can uh, check out all of those locations. That would be great. Thank you so much, Michael. Random Phantom says, Barrett? Okay, he was boring. Uh, I wouldn't. Know, I don't know if I would call him boring. Um, he's got an interesting personality. I think with Barrett, they tried to play into it too much. He's a little reckless and irresponsible, and he flies by the seat of his pants. Turns out that that's because he had a, you know, he lost someone he cared about when he was younger, and now he thinks that that his partner would probably be disappointed in the way that he's turned out. And he's always hungry. He's constantly giving you food. Um, he's not the worst character, but he's a little bit too much. Like, every time we land on a planet, he'll stop you to say, hey, I've got something for you. And guess what? It's a half-eaten sandwich. <laughs> Thanks, Barrett. And then he'll have random little dialogue just talking about how hungry he is because he's the hungry character. That's his personality. He likes food. Okay, well, Barrett likes food. That's great. But uh, he's also experienced a lot. So sometimes he'll talk about um, places he's been, where he's seen spacers, and he's, seen, uh, he's learned some things that he'll share with you. So he's not the worst character. Okay.
I guess the big question I have is once I complete the constellation plot, do I have to do a new game plus or can I then move on to work on all of the faction plots? Because I want to do all of the faction storylines. They sound really interesting to me, but I wanted to kind of focus on Constellation, then move to UC, then move to Freestar Collective, so on and so forth. But if the primary Constellation plot just wrecks all of that, then, of course, obviously I'll have to um, adapt. Joe Lopez says, after the main story, you don't have to finish the game. Okay, but can I finish the game? That's like, I understand I don't have to. I could move on to New Game Plus, but what if you want to, right? Also, what happens to all of the outposts that you build? Do they disappear in New Game Plus? Why would I ever do that then? Like, why would I ever invest in building a bunch of outposts if they're just going to disappear in New Game Plus? Right. Here we go. Okay. So we have Barrett here. And uh, most of our other companions are back at the eye. Uh, I went ahead and looted everything. Let's go ahead and try to figure out how to get to the wolf system so we can offload all of this cargo. Yeah, so this is what I'm talking about. Um... Because I'm at that particular part in the plot, Sarah isn't even on the list. Neither is Sam Co. Uh, these are the only characters that I can interact with. So really, I'm stuck with Barrett. So let's complete his story. And then sadly, I mean, I hate to lose him. <laughs> Starship engineering and particle beam weapon systems. But, okay. Now. Uh, chat says I need to go to the wolf system. What's that? Procyon 4. Asteroids there. I need to go to the wolf system in order to sell all of my illegal contraband. Where would the wolf system be? There's Soul, Barnyards. Oh. Well, wait. Wolf is United Colonies. I was hoping to get rid of my bounty first. Pontum, Moon of Ethera, Wolf System. Uh oh. Are they attacking me? UC Sec Phalanx 2. Why is it red? Uh, okay, wolf system. Where do I need to go in the wolf system to sell all my goods? Wow! Oh, we are close to a big red giant there. Pontim, Moon of Ethera. An extreme environment. Ethera Ruins, Ethera. Skin unavailable. Go to the space station, the den. All right, the den. Uh, let's see if we can find the den. There it is. Thonia, the wolf system. There's the den. Now oh, that was very Lovecraftian name. The den 
responding to hail, you are cleared to dock. Welcome to UC Space. Interesting that a place like the Den would be in UC Space. Is it anything like the den from Fallout? Fallout 1? Okay, let's undock. No, no, not undock! God. Not undock. Let's stand up. Let's get up. There we go. So there we go. Harvested organs. Black market antiquities. And Veyrune heretic writings. That's what I want to offload here at the wolf system, the den. Here we go. Okay. What is the den? What have we found here? Need some work done? Ship services technician, don't need him. We've Be got... careful if you run into those ecliptic jerks. They fly around like they own the settled systems. And they like to use old abandoned facilities as outposts. You know, the ones left over from the colony war. How about my foot up your ass, newsboy? That a big enough scoop for you? I really don't think that's appropriate talk coming from a Vanguard pilot. That's exactly your problem. You don't think. If you weren't such a lousy reporter, you wouldn't be stuck all the way out here! I mean, I guess maybe that's true, but <laughs> if so, you're just as stuck out here as I am. So what does that say? Oh, wow! You really do want me to kick your ass, don't ya? <laughs> what? What's going all on? All right, that's enough. Bastion, go cool off. Get a drink. Whatever. Fine. Holden, I appreciate that you have a job to do. I really do. But you need to consider that you don't operate in a vacuum. If you're stationed here long term, that means you're around these people all day, every day. And they're not going to like it if you're making them look bad. Lieutenant Commander Marquez, I appreciate your concern, but I have an obligation to SSNN to report on what I see. I'm sure they do know that, Holden. I'm just saying, maybe use a little more discretion in your reporting. Maybe a lot. Don't worry. When the next big story breaks out here, I'll be sure to help you get the scoop, okay? I will think on that. Thank you. Okay. Well, quite a bit of drama got on here. Let's talk to- I really did think this place would see a bit more action. Let's talk to Holden Bonilla. That's a little surprising, isn't it? Out here on the edge of UC space. But it's just so quiet. Can you tell me more about SSNN? Why, certainly. The Settled Systems News Network is the longest running news service in, well, the Settled Systems. Reporters are dispatched all over, keeping an ear to the ground for some breaking news that should be known to everyone. It can, admittedly, be a bit of a pain making sure those stories reach our central office in New Atlantis. But until someone invents faster-than-light communication, it's the best we can do. No offense, but you seem a little out of place. Well, I certainly feel that way. The Vanguard pilots don't seem to want to associate with me. And I don't agree with Mr. Romack's views on the Colony War. So there are few options left to me. You know, I 
really thought volunteering for this assignment was going to be the boost to my career that I was looking for. Now I suspect even SSNN has forgotten about me. Poor guy. <clears throat> you need to develop a thicker skin. You could always ask for a different assignment. People don't appreciate feeling like somebody is watching on them, so uh, report uh, to report on their every move, or you can get through this. Let's see if he can ask for a different assignment. I could, so long as I don't mind seeming like an abject failure. And I just know that the day after I leave, some giant story will break. That seems to be the way things go. Okay. Au revoir, as they say. I mean, that kind of stuff, you don't need that here. Saying au revoir at the den. Okay. Well, it doesn't look as sleazy as I was expecting. Private sector. Now that's where the real money's at. Where can I offload these these items. Is it at the Trade Authority? Always a pleasure to meet someone new. Welcome to the Trade Authority. I'm Marcel, and if there's anything, anything I can do for you, please do let me know. Well, you Our wouldn't. stock may not be as vast as New Atlantis or Sidonia, but I will do my best to see that you leave here satisfied. <laughs> and seeing as the Trade Authority is the only fully licensed operator for the den, I'm afraid your alternatives are, shall we say, Slim, it is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, and I hope this and all future interactions are profitable for both of us. Okay. Oh, this is one of the guys I need to uh, deliver a message to from Aquila City. Thank you. Did you have any trouble en route? I mean, it's been so long since I got that quest that I don't even remember. Um... What are you guys involved in? None of your concern. Our business here is done. Okay, you will. If there's anything I can do for you, please say the word. Do you have any work that needs doing? It's very kind of you to offer, but I am currently not in a position to personally require your services. There are, however, likely some trade authority contracts available at the terminal down in the bar. I'm sure you're already aware that the Trade Authority is quite generous when it comes to completing said contracts. The Trade Authority operates all the way out here. If there are deals to be made, you'll find that we'll go to great lengths to take advantage of them. My primary role here is to oversee logistics operations for our many trade routes in the area, but I convinced my superiors that it was worth setting up something more customer-oriented. I'm told that they are quite pleased with the results. Let's see what you got for sale. Yes, of course. Okay, let's go to sell. Uh, can I sell? Hey, black market antiquities. Looks like I can. Yes. Oh, thank God. I mean, they're not worth that much. Armor and weapons are worth more than some of these things. These are only worth, I mean, well, it's a stack of five, so 5,000 credits. Yeah. All right, he takes them. That's great. Well, let me sell the rest of my stuff here. I don't know why I have all of this. Okay. The vendor has a hundred credits left. <laughs> uh, let's see what he has for sale, though. Um, no, that's from the Razor. Let's uh, let's go to buy. What does he got? All right, nothing terribly interested or interesting. Okay. Your file says you have a military background. Well, don't embarrass your old outfit. Stay out of trouble. Will do. Well, we... If you're ever in New Atlantis, mind putting in a good word for me? I don't think my messages to SSNN are getting through. 
Okay, well there we go. Tell you what, I've got all these side quests I want to take care of. Do we explore the den now? Or do we tackle the side quests we already have? Uh, kill for a cup of coffee right about now. I guess I don't know how big the den is. I know we're not a priority for the Vanguard or the UC, but it's still space worth protecting. I tell you what, I'll come back. I've got a, I've got a mission. I know what I need to do. I need to go to Aquila City. I need to pay off my bounty. Let's um, then try to sell some of the stuff we've got. I want to go uh, shoot down a, a few more ships in the uh, simulation. I don't think I'm going to do 30, because that's a lot, but maybe we'll do 10 or so. Uh, and do it piecemeal, because I do eventually want to get my ship. Okay. So, we could always come back to Chthonia. Did we ever scan that? We didn't. Extreme environment. Helium-3, though. Aluminum and beryllium. Now, uh, Cheyenne, right? We need to go... There it is, Cheyenne. Let's go to... God. Aquila City. And this is going to be uh, good for us anyway, because we can sell at the Trade Authority here. Because we're carrying a ton of crap. Okay, uh, let's go to weapons. Yeah, see, this is worth almost a thousand. Just in and of itself. I already have one of these back at the lodge. Uh, Anti-personnel professionals refined... Grendel. Do I already have a Grendel that I'm using? I keep forgetting. Arc Welder. I think I've got an Arc Welder back at, um, as well. Assassin's Pacifier. I've got a Legendary Pacifier. I don't need this one. Berserker Osmium Dagger. Is this my only Os Osmium Dagger? I think it might be, so I should save it. Uh... Disassembler's Urban Eagle. I think it's my only rare Urban Eagle. I should keep it. Equinox. This is the only one I've got. All right, I don't need that. Extended Mag Eon. I think I've got a blue Eon back at home. This is just Extended Mag, so we'll sell it. Calibrated Maelstrom. Gallows Reach. That's unique. Uh, I got the Med Theft Shoddy and a Med Theft Old Earth Shotgun. Nice. Nova Light, we've got two of these, don't need to. Let's sell one, but I think it's the only other Nova Light that I have. Particle Beam Pistol. And uh, I've got a Tombstone back at um, home as well. So I don't need all of these. Are you that newcomer that saved Mr. Crowley? Okay, self-service bounty clearance. United Colonies, payback bounty. There we go.
All right, let's see exactly Akira what... Akira City is really the heart of the Free Star Collective. Never mind. Sorry. Thinking of something else. Uh, yes, Captain. Can I carry that for you? Let's see what he's already carrying for me, and it's nothing. Great. Right, well then we'll just take all of this to Atlantis. You do not want to go outside the city walls. Fiddler the Leper says, keep in mind, items have a base level that greatly impacts damage. So you'll eventually want to replace all your old weapons. Do they really? I didn't even think about that. Where does it say base level? Where does it say that though? I mean, it's got the damage. Ammo, magazine size, rounds, fire rate, range, accuracy, mass value, mods. Is that an invisible statistic? Because as far as I know, this is the first time hearing about it. Tommy says, don't you have contraband in this city? Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, yeah. Where did I put it? I, I, did I store it here? I stored it in a container. Hey, what can I do for you? Somewhere around here. I don't remember where. Was it here in the Trade Authority? Oh man, I'm never gonna find it. Or was it in a bar somewhere? <laughs> I'll worry about it later. All right, I now know where to go to, to sell all my contraband. When I come back and start doing Aquila City quests, I'll tackle the contraband I've got there. I just gotta lighten my load because I can barely walk without running out of oxygen. Ash Malachi says Ox weapon and armor ranks are none. You are entering United Colony space. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. All right, we're done. You are cleared to land at New Atlantis. Weapon and armor ranks are none, calibrated, refined, advanced, and superior. Oh, I thought those prefixes had more to do with the mods that were installed on them rather than the level of the weapon itself. This is great information. Thank you, chat, for letting me know. All right, let's land at the uh, spaceport. Kara on Facebook says, hey, Ox. Hey there, Kara. Roger Malone says, hey, Ox, did you finish Hadrian's quest and meet with Hadrian in New Atlantis? Great rewards for that quest. I don't think I did, no. So we can spend some time today doing that. Okay, now let's uh, get rid of 
Um, these packs. And these helmets. Oh, he's out of, he's out already. I'm, he's already out, my God. Lunas, for decorating their ships with heat leech nests. Mm -hmm. would be a nice touch. Do you need some? Happy to help. Let's see what I've got here. All right, let's trade with him. Give him some of the gear that I'm carrying that I don't need right now. Including the weapons. I think I decided to switch to the Maelstrom instead of uh, the Kraken. So I'll give him that and keep my Maelstrom. Uh, 55, that's 10, but it's got a 300 and... Oh, wait, no, that's, um, I should compare it to that. 92, but the fire rate is 60. The fire rate for this is 6. This has 10 times the fire rate and, and less than half the damage. So this is going to be more powerful, and it uses a completely different ammunition. So let me swap out my shotguns. Let's give him the old earth shotgun, and I'll, um, quick... Slot the modified shoddy. Let's give him the Nova Light and the Tombstone. I'm still encumbered. Let's give him my throwables. All right, that puts me under barely. That's good. That's enough to get me to base. Put that at five. Put that at three. There we go. I'm kitted out. Zach Taylor says transfer resources, Ox. I've already transferred all my resources to the ship. I've completely filled the ship. I'll show you. Next relief. Cargo hold. It's just chock full of resources. Ideally, I want to get this to my crafting stations in, in uh, inside the, the lodge, which is what I want to do now. So let's go to the lodge. I'm not going to turn in the quest because I don't want that to advance, but let's see if we can go to the lodge without advancing the quest. I'm going to do a hard save here, and then let's try going to the lodge. Update the quest. <clears throat> it does not. So we're stuck with Barrett until I interact with that. Does the quest immediately advance after I interact with that? I think it does. All right, so let's just focus on inventory management for now. Now, Chad was telling me that in the middle here is a storage box. This storage box connects with my ship's cargo and it's unlimited is that true let's deposit all my resources then let's take my resources out of here and let's deposit all of these resources Finally. Ash Malachi says, Ox, if you want to take a break from the main mission line, you could join the Vanguard and either fight pirates or alien monsters. Thank you, Ash Malachi. Sounds like a blast. Von Reck gifted five Oxhorn memberships to the community. Thank you, uh, Von Reck. And congratulations to Zevin, Ant444, Jason Stanley, Charles Spencer, and Courtney Zayas. Awesome. Thank you so much, Von Reck. Kevin says, no, just unlimited. Oh, 
so it doesn't connect to all of my containers. I'm going to have to manually pull stuff out every time. That's a bummer. Well, let's add um, all of our crafting ingredients here. In the aid section. Okay, then I want to make sure that I'm using the right weapons, so let's go get our weapons from Barrett, and then go back to our safe in our room and do a little bit more inventory management there. Comms are busted. At least I think that's it. Comms are busted. At least I think that's it. Barrett, what? What are you doing? Does he not... Does he not follow me at this point? Oh, come on! I didn't think that he would... Did I just lose Barrett? I just lost Barrett. Well, great. <laughs> I can't even step foot in the lodge at this point, or else I lose Barrett, and I therefore can't complete his affinity. Well, let's uh, load my last hard save. Or actually this one. Yeah. Yeah, as soon as I enter the lodge, I lose them as a, as a follower, and that was the entire point of continuing so that I can level up Barrett's affinity. Okay. Well, don't think I'm going to do that. <laughs> in the meantime, at least we're no longer encumbered. Did I, did I finish doing this? I did. We're at 168. Kevin says reload and make him wait out front. Will that work? Let's see if that works. Lay it on me. Wait here. Right ho, Captain. Thank you. That's a great idea. Colonel 87 says, hey, Oax, how do you get that super ship you got? I had to complete a quest for Walter that we got after, um, after uh, getting to a certain point in the primary quest. Does he run in? He does not run in. Okay. No, he does! There he is! He teleports here! Is he still waiting for us outside, though? Because we did tell him to wait! He did- we did tell him to wait! Barrett! Is he waiting outside? He's not! He's not waiting outside anymore! That trick didn't work! Well, it was a good idea, but it didn't work, sadly. So let's go back and uh, reload the auto save. <laughs> Just getting getting this game to do what you want it to do <laughs> with it can be tricky at times. President 99 says, uh, this part here is a serious decision. Be aware what you do here. No companion will work with waiting. Thank you, President 99. Wait. Oh no, did I overwrite my auto save? Alright, we should we're at Jameson, so what is this? At the Trade Authority kiosk? Before we fast traveled there? Did I do a hard save at that point? I think I did. Yeah, 168 of 170. So I've completed that part of my inventory. So I just can't step foot in the lodge. Well, alright, so we could work on UC Vanguard quests. I should return to the, to the lodge and the artifact to the collection. We do have these quests, Power From Beyond. Could collect more of the artifacts. That's for Constellation. 
So I could work on that. I could try working on many of the quests that I picked up here in Atlantis at the very beginning of the game. Let's take a look at Gem Jealousy. Make the exchange with George St. George. Guliam asked me to get his gem back from George St. George. Hopefully this plate is enough for George to make the exchange. Well, now that I've leveled up my persuasion, maybe I'll be able to talk with him about that. Okay. Mission updated, gem jealousy. Let's tackle that. Who knows, maybe if we are lucky, we'll maximize affinity with Barrett during this broadcast. You will so be that's... scanned as you enter the city. Okay. Bad Boy Beta says that Oxhorn distilling confidence is super easy. All right, I could, I could uh, do that one as well. Okay, so he's just sitting out here in this uh, pavilion. Cool, let's do a quick save. As you can see, traffic is good. The sales keep So much climbing. to see. So and there much are two to learn. locations in New Atlantis. Life is beautiful in that way. Yes. Yes. And the sales in the fest didn't dip at all when the second store opened. <clears throat> Impressive. Times Rod change, but one thing's constant. People need coffee. I need to report back, but this is very encouraging. Roger Malone says, Ox, if you sleep, you get a 10% experience boost. Good to sleep before doing quests. Roger, that's a great tip. Can I sleep on my ship? Because I'm locked out of the lodge now. I can't go back to the lodge. What brings you to New Atlantis? Ah, uh, the usual things, I suppose. Fame, fortune, power. <laughs> I'm only joking, of course. I've actually been fortunate to call New Atlantis home for many years. For a collector like myself, I do believe there's no better place in all the settled systems. I've been charmed to make the acquaintance of many fellow old Earth enthusiasts here in New Atlantis. And that is why I continue to stay. What do you do? <laughs> Me? Uh, why, to be frank, I don't do much. Not anymore, at least. And that suits me just fine. Yes. Yeah. I now live to collect <laughs> artifacts from Earth. You see, every artifact tells a story. Even spoons and forks, which most take for granted. What about plates? People laugh at me when they see I collect old earth spoons. But think about it, friend. Spoons change the course of history. Can you imagine life without them? No, I also can't imagine life without shoes, you know. Uh, Maya says, hey Ox, have you heard of the game Immortals Phoenix Rising? Ah, yes. A great mind must always take a few moments to choose the proper words. Thank you for that one, George. It's got good humor, lots of dad jokes, lol, nice graphics, and it's set around Greek mythos. Interesting. Immortals Phoenix Rising. I'll have to check it out. Well, a Juliam wants his gem back. He'd like to exchange this plate for it. A plate? Oh my. As in a plate from Earth? Absolutely. Without question. Oh! Here, take the gem. <laughs> that Guillaume, if he wanted his gem back so badly, he could have simply asked. The gem is worthless, less than a paperweight. But actually, earth paperweights are quite valuable. Wow, that was easy. Um, okay, priceless, quote-unquote, gem added. I mean, I guess I should have... Uh taken this guy with me onto the colony ship. Lots of Earth stuff there. Well, the point is that the gem had sentimental value 
to Guillaume or whatever his name is because it was the first artifact that he started collecting. It seems like there's a lot of animosity between you and uh, Guillaume. Bah, I'm sure Guillaume makes it seem that Guillaume. way. In reality, it couldn't be further from the truth. Guillaume and I have known each other for years. Since we were both young men, he is the closest thing I have to a brother. And, much like brothers, we quarrel. But that doesn't mean we don't like each other. I will say, however, Guillaume can be a tad overdramatic, as well as a sore loser. Don't tell him I said that. Okay. Well, that was way easier than I thought it was going to be. I'm glad I didn't pop uh, one of my chems that increased my talking ability. Well, uh, all right, so I should, I should probably do a resting. Tell you what, let's uh, fast travel to the ship because I should rest on the ship before turning in the quest to get the XP bonus that the chat has been uh, saying I need. And Colonel87 says, I still wouldn't mind you playing Assassin's Creed, uh, Creed Valhalla. Thank you for that one, Colonel87. Perhaps I will. Perhaps I will. All right, let's see if I can find my bed on this rust bucket. There it is. One hour. Good. You're up. Let's move. Okay. Don't I have a food that also increases the experience gain that I have for like 10 minutes or something? Um, or did I sell it just because I wasn't using it and it was heavy? It was like a boba tea. There it is. Yeah, 10%, oh, 2% experience gain for 15 minutes. All right. Boba tea. Let's go turn it in. And I believe the guy is right here. Enter the city. Please keep moving. Okay. No bounty. You're clear. Yes. What? Nothing wrong with a simple bet. Well, as long as you win. Here's your gem, safe and sound. Ah, wonderful. I knew George would make the exchange. He could never resist food wear from Earth. You've done me a great service today, friend. I'll be sure to never take this gem for granted ever again. Thank you for bringing it back to me. There we go. Okay. Ta-ta. Ta-ta. That was easy. Now, since we have uh, the sleep rested bonus, let's do a couple more quests here in New Atlantis, if we can. Distilling confidence, Nissa Marcano has asked me to help acquire some cargo from off-world. It's being held in secure storage at the spaceport. I'll need to figure out a way to retrieve it. Hmm. And then there's a tree grows in Atlantis. That's by the Lodge, a sip ship for Salinas. Let's try distilling confidence. Access secure storage. Right. Where's that at? Oh, it's over there. Okay. Colonel 87 says, Chat's missing the point. I don't care about Assassin's Creed games. I care about the Viking game. Oh, so you want me to play Valhalla because you like Viking games. Is there games. a problem? I too like Viking games. Nice but day, I, huh? I also like Assassin's Creed games based on my limited experience with um, Assassin's Creed uh, Odyssey, which was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it, even though it did uh, eventually get repetitious. Mira says, rest in peace, my super chat. Sorry, Mira. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, 
I read it. Myra, you asked about the Immortals Rising game. And, and I answered you. I talked about it. But it sounds great. Yeah, I'll have to check out Immortals Rising. Seized cargo. Hmm. I don't want to steal from that. Hey, this really isn't a good place for civilians to be hanging around. I'm not a civilian. There's something I can help you with? I'm a former soldier. Why is this area locked off? Oh, security impounded a ton of cargo and didn't have storage space for it all, so we're holding on to some of it until they can run inventory. So, you need something, or...? <laughs> so, how often does UC Security clear out the impounded storage? Uh, not really sure. Whenever they get through their backlog, I guess. There a reason you're asking? We can pass a persuade check to say you've got some cargo that was impounded, and I need to access it. Yeah, I can't really just let you in there. All right, this one is an easy one. We need to pass a plus four persuasion check. And we've got three turns to do it. Let's try a number three. You can't just have anyone going through. I get it. Must be hard for you to say no all the time. Finally, someone who gets it. And then there's no reason for us to have a problem, is there? I feel like we get this option every time we have a persuasion check. <sighs> I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. All right, look, don't tell anyone I did this for you. I could lose my job over it. If anyone asks, I had nothing to do with this. You got it? I got it. I'm just a charming guy. You couldn't All right, help make it. Make it quick, will you? You couldn't help the charm. It just oozes out of every pore. Alright. Ooh. Mech components. Those are highly illegal. I mean. 12,000. What do you think you're doing? Sorry? Sorry, can I give that back to you? Did you think I wouldn't notice? That's my bad. Watch for I... the engine blast, will you? They'll bowl you right over. Right, I did, it did. It didn't have the red icon that said it was owned. It had a yellow icon. Sorry. All right, let's try this again. Now he walks away. Yeah. Oh well. Nothing else here. All right, super easy. Hidden. Package for Nisa. Let's take a look at it in the inventory. It's uh, miscellaneous, right? No, it's new. Let's go to new items. Package for Nisa. All right. It's just like coffee or something, right? She needed something for her shop. Do they have pickpocketing in this game? No. No. Or maybe there's a perk I need to get to pickpocket. Ah, oh, well. It's a skill, says Fiddler the Helper. Oh, oh. Gotta get the skill. Well, I missed out on the mech parts, but... Oh, well. Let's go turn this in. to the city. Please keep moving. Mike Bruner okay. says, after watching you no weave through this, I may have to reload an old save. Sam Co was the companion that was chosen for me. I can't take Cora's grief. That would devastate me, Mike. I'm kind of curious to see how they handled that. Like, if it were me and I was making the game, if Sam ended up dying and Cora is left without a parent, I would give the player the opportunity to adopt the kid and, you know, try to care for the kid. But then again, it is a space a spaceship and we're doing lots of, of dangerous and sometimes highly illegal things. Is that the right place for a young kid? 
maybe they give you a quest to find her a new home or something like that. A lot of opportunity there, and I wonder if they seized upon that opportunity for Korra's story. The worst thing would be if she's just stuck on your ship, and every time you board your ship, she's sitting there mo moaning her dad being dead. Oh, my dad is dead. What's a kid to do? Same damn thing. That would drive me damn. crazy. Gotta try to I don't want to sound desperate, but any luck finding my cargo? Hey there, new guy. Hope life is treating you well. Let me know if I can get you anything. I have a present for you. Oh, no way. You really got it? Ask me. I probably don't want to know what you did to get this, right? I mean, I want to know, but it's maybe better if I don't. <laughs> uh, we could say I called in a favor. Don't worry, no one died getting this. Or if you see security asks questions you and I never met. I'll just say don't worry, no one died getting this. I certainly hope not. This is a huge deal to me, but it's not worth either of us murdering over. Well, look, I can assure this will all be worth it in the end. Matter of fact, I'm going to let you have the first ever sample. On Yay. top of that, you get free drinks. Not not like unlimited free drinks, but you want a little pick-me-up now and then? <laughs> I got you covered. All right. I need drinks. some time to work on what comes next. But this, this was the difficult part, I think. Really? Thank you so much. Cool. Three, 3,300 bucks, supernova added. All right, let's see what drinks I have that are free. Sure thing. What can I get you? Let's go to aid. Aw, oh, oh, where's the free drinks? Hey, hey, she lied to me. She gave me one free drink. But I gotta buy the rest. President 99 says, You forgot one thing. When you played with Sam and Cora, you know she has a mother. And yes, it's complicated between these two. Oh, dis I thought her mother was dead. No, I guess I misheard that. All right, thank you, President 99. Hear any good rumors lately? Hmm. Bit of a slow news day around here. Ah, well... Speaking of news, some folks are convinced David Barron, you know, the SSN anchor, is some sort of Freestar sympathizer. <laughs> Ridiculous, if you ask me. Sure, they ran a couple of stories about Aquila City that weren't totally critical, but come on. Have you ever been? It's really not that bad. <laughs> anyway, that's the sort of high-stakes stuff people talk up while waiting on a flight. So glad you asked, aren't you? Mm. I can tell. Ah, uh, that's it. Gotta try to Stop by it. anytime you'd like to catch up. Okay, Barrett. We've completed two quests. We've earned some experience. We spent some time together. Is that enough to get the next part of your story? Talk to me. Let's, uh, uh, let me get some personal questions. Sure. Why not? Mm, that's no nothing. Okay. Is there like uh, a portion of my my UI that tells me which status you have an affliction? Take the corresponding remedy to cure it. Go to your inventory and look for the aid items. Okay, status effects. Well rested, boba alien tea. Right, I got sixteen minutes or six minutes on that, and fifteen minutes on that. I'm gonna try and make good use of those by doing a couple more quests. Uh, but those are positive status effects, so I don't need to heal those. There's my character background. Taskmaster, I forget getting that trait. Occasionally, if you have crew trained in a certain ship system, that system will automatically repair itself to full health whenever it's damaged below 50%. However, all crew cost twice as much to hire. Well, I didn't realize how, how impactful that was going to be when I, when I chose that perk. All right, uh, exploration, ship, mission, combat, crafting, and crime. I've stolen 35 items? 
At least I haven't murdered anyone. Acts of Piracy Zero. I just stole the artifact off that guy. All right. Well, let's go to quests and um, Damn thing. pick a new one. Let's see. I'm going from the bottom because uh, that's the order in which I got these. A tree grows in New Atlantis. Locate the biosensors. A scientist in New Atlantis named Kilton Frusch has asked me to assist him in his research. I need to collect sensors scattered around the city and bring them to him so he can analyze their recordings. James DeLong says, uh, try Olivia Master Blends next time you're at the cigar shop. Thanks for the heads up. I'll definitely do that. Colonel 87th says, would you imagine you save your team by maxing affinity? I mean, wouldn't that be great? I'd love to be able to save everybody by maximizing affinity, affinity but I don't think that's actually possible. Uh, President 99 says, mother dead? Ooh, I see you didn't max affinity with him. I see, well, too late now or else you, you'd see her a few times. Uh, President 99, I haven't, max, I haven't um, maxed affinity with anybody yet. Which is why I'm currently working on Barrett. I need a max affinity with him to finish unlocking his story so that we can let him die. Because that's where we are in the story. Hooray! All right, locate the biosensors. A tree grows in New Atlantis. Can we fast travel there? Do we got to run there? That's just outside the lodge. Right. Biosensor. Beep boop. Is it gonna show me how to get to the closest one? No. I think that's the closest one. Okay, there's one right there. That's pretty close. And there's one over there. Oh, I do not. Beep boop. All right, which is closer? I think this one is. Let's try and get that. I'm getting a demos. So after an hour of whining, they're finally out here. They're just There's sitting on no the grass. One they should to be play playing. With. Do you want to go another three rounds with them? Oh, they're slides, like right there. Yeah, at least they're outside. <laughs> A common parent's problem. Take the kids to the playground, take them to the park, and they just sit there. Aha! Beep boop. Colonel 87 says it worked like that in Mass Effect. Worked like what? Yeah. I don't, I don't remember the context of your last. Oh, by max. Oh, right, right, right. By saving their lives if you maximize affinity. I see. You're right. It did work like that in Mass Effect. You gotta look. Okay. How do I get over there? I haven't done this yet. I haven't just ran around New Atlantis. So this is, uh, this is kind of fun. Getting a feel for the city. All right, I need to go that way. Is there like, can I get over this thing? Okay, 
we're at Mast. Is that Mast? Yeah. Oh, man. Aha. James DeLong says, acid earthiness is my go-to. Affordable. I've uh, smoked a few acid cigars. I haven't smoked acid. I've smoked acids. The acid cigars aren't acid. It's the brand name. It's, it, the brand name of the cigar is acid. It's not acid. I'm not saying that I've done acid. I'm just saying that I smoked an acid cigar. What have you seen? It's not like we're doing anything wrong or illegal. If my boss found out I was dating someone from... You know, we never, ever talk about work or any trade secret stuff. It's none of their business what I do Come in my on, personal life. Seriously? Tell that to me when I get fired. So, uh, this is it? You, you want to end it? You're breaking up? No, 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 no. I just oh, good. worry. It'll be okay. It's Have only I lost my job? Time I just before they whoa, find whoa, out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, my speaks for itself. Calm down. I was just snooping. You don't both need to talk to me at the same time, guys. Huh? Better with a kid. What? Hey, are you looking for eggs too? I've only found one so far, but I want to find more before anyone else does. So if you see some, can you tell me? Oh, he got a sensor thinking it was an egg. The egg you found wasn't beeping, was it? Yeah, it was. Weird, right? <laughs> Miss Seng over at UC Distribution bought the one I found, and she said she might buy more if I can find them. I could really use the credits. Oh, and off he goes. Well, this kid was on an Easter egg hunt, and he took one of the biosensors and sold it. That is an enterprising kid right there. Whetstones. What is Whetstones? They'll have our table they ready. They say they don't need a programmer. We have to come early. But they're sure. Oh, they'll be late. They literally uses quantum it's synergy software to talk to the uh, hardware. Uh, uh, we always wind up waiting forever, though. We're talking too much. Oh. Everybody's talking over each other and talking at me and shouting, and it's too much. Okay, distribution center. Check. I'm pleased to report that our stocks are currently being maintained at 90% or higher. I'm sure we have anything you might need. Okay, well, do you have Welcome eggs? Welcome to UC Distribution. Now, before you say a word, I am required to inform you that formal complaints cannot be filed until the customer feedback system is back online. Yeah. I have been told it'll be up and running in two weeks, but you know how these things are. I am sorry for any potential inconvenience. Also, if you're here about a corporate account, I've been assured that deliveries will be back on schedule soon. How about I tell you why I'm here instead of you just guessing why I'm here and telling me things that I don't need to know? What is it you do here? You mean besides providing a pleasant face for customers to interact with? It's all in the name. We distribute materials and products all around the United Colonies. Never a dull moment. Always something going on and four other things we need to be ready for. I know some people don't believe it, but we really do the best we can. Wouldn't still be working here if I didn't care. I mean, she described her own face as pleasant. That's presumptuous. Really, I mean, I'm not disagreeing, but seriously, it's presumptuous. Uh, well, let's see what she has for sale. Yes, of course. Please take a look. Cool, another merchant. Can we sell anything? We've, why are we wearing all of these spacesuits? I don't remember getting all of these spacesuits. Oh, that's buy. Right. Of course. I'm looking at her inventory because of course I am. 
A boosted double A ninety nine worth sixteen thousand. Ooh. Calibrated. Okay, I'm starting to see what you're saying here. An N sixty seven smart gun. What? With the shattering legendary effect, uh, legendary effect, breaking through even the strongest armor, rapid shot. Oh yeah. I don't have a rare one of these. This is the first merchant that has something for sale that I actually want. Okay. Well, um... Let's go to sell really quickly. And... I think I actually... Uh, actually consolidated my inventory already. I'd have to talk to Barrett. I've got 277,000. Right, right. Come back if you need something else. Barrett? Hmm? Not a problem. Let's see if I have space. For sure. What did I want to hear? Aren't I pushing out Grendel? I'm having I'm having him carry stuff that I wanted to keep, aren't I? Yeah. I wanted to keep all of this. No, I didn't want to keep that. I wanted to sell that. I think I have another old earth shotgun, but I think this is the best one I have, so. I could sell the tombstone. And I could sell all these mines. I don't really need all of these mines. Welcome to UC Distribution. Something I can do for you? Yes, of course. Please, take a look. Okay, I've got a tombstone, so I don't need this one. Well, that didn't even come close to uh, expending her inventory. Do I want to buy this weapon? That's the thing. <clears throat> Rapid shot. I already have another shotgun that I really wanted to try using, and the other shotgun has a higher a higher fire rate, but this does far more physical damage. I'll buy it. Okay. All right, you bought an egg from a kid recently. I need it. Who, Jordan? That kid's in here every other day with some random thing he found. Trying to get credits. Yeah, I took pity on him. Why, what is it? Um, we could say it's sensitive scientific equipment, very important. It's nothing, just some junk I dropped the other day. It's none of your business, or does it matter? Can't I just have it? Um, hmm. If we tell her it's sensitive equipment, she might try to jack up the price. Let's say it's nothing, just some junk I dropped the other day. That so? Must mean something to you if you came looking for it. Uh, well... You can have it back for what I paid for it, plus a little extra. Let's call it a convenience fee, shall we? A hundred credits? That's not too bad. Can you just give it to me? I could, but I did pay for it. I'd like to recover my losses. And it's all the way in the back room. I'd have to walk back there, then back out here. <laughs> You're the one who said it was junk. If that's true, why bother coming back for it at all? 
Optional, steal it. All right, I'm gonna pay 100 credits. Pleasure doing business with you. There we go, biosensor added. A tree grows in New Atlantis. Back to it. Now, let's take a look at our brand new weapon here. Rapid shot. Then. Oh, yeah. This is gorgeous. I'm gonna enjoy it. Security monitoring on premises. I wonder what's back there. It's not like I have a stealth boy. All right, well, we're here to do quests and we're on a timer. Let's go turn it in while we still can. That your ship that landed not too long ago? I missed our Bobby so much. With our lives. What are you talking about? Was that the family that landed at the very beginning of the game? Did his parents actually come back for him? To challenge your instincts and hone those corporate skills, Ryujin is hiring the best. Am I encumbered now? I am encumbered now. Submit your application. Sorry. Ah, yes. Shuffle time. Let's see if we can even the load. Okay, uh, tell you what, Barrett. You've got a brand new shotgun. This is the one I was gonna test out anyway. I mean, it's got a fire rate of, of 60, and it only does 50 damage. This does double the damage, but the fire rate is one, f one third. So it's slower. This thing is really fast. Uh, all right, I'll just give it to him for now. There you go, hold on to that for me, Barrett. I need all if it isn't my favorite almost a lab assistant. What can I do for you? I've got all your sensors right here. So you do. Wonderful. I'll just take these and we'll see what they have to tell us. All right. We'll just upload the data. Give it a moment. Moment. And just another moment. Mo Moment. Oh, it is working, isn't it? Moment. Ah, there it is. What a relief. Now, let's see. This is... Well, it, it's... Yeah, 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 come on, come on. Oh, my. And? Well, what? Well, you're just walking off, what? Oh my, what? Well, there's good news and bad news. The good news is that my suspicions were correct. There is something wrong with the tree. I will report my findings to Mast immediately with no small amount of satisfaction. The phrase, I told you so, may even be uttered more than once. Well, that doesn't sound like good news. Well, from a certain point of view. In an admittedly somewhat selfish manner. <laughs> the bad news, as it were, is that the internal composition of the tree is changing. In this particular case, the tree is now regularly emitting ultra-low frequency sound waves. They're nearly imperceptible now, but they're growing in strength. This is something we've never observed before. Depending on how large these waves grow, consequences for the city could be well, disastrous. I must consult with my colleagues in MAST at once. Thank you for your assistance. I hope these credits are adequate compensation. So the tree is talking? Check in on Kelton later. Is now later? Let's hope that MAST takes these findings seriously. The data from the biosensors speaks for itself. Okay, well, we'll have to talk to him later. This seemingly simple. 
Let's take a look at our status here. Do we still have the status effects? Well, we've got the well-rested benefit. But that's it. It's starting to wear off. Request has brought bitter controversy that seems no closer to resolution. Tell you what. Let's go shoot some ships to work on our piloting skill a little bit. Not going to do it all at once. Don't worry. I'm going to sort of even it out again. Yes, I'm not going to talk to you just yet. I know you're waiting for me. I will be back. Don't worry. We will do your quest. Just not right now. I've got things to do. Let's shoot some ships and... Ah, Captain. Congratulations on joining the ranks of the Vanguard. Thank you very much. Pilot simulator. And then we'll work on some more New Atlantis quests. Right. Oh, is this one out of commission? Can I, uh, can I, no. Oh, there we go, that's working. All right, let's see, where are we? Uh, let's go to, oh. Retrieve waiting followers? Uh-oh, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Shut down. Barrett, you better be out here. Don't be at... Yes. Oh, I was afraid that he went all the way back <laughs> to uh, the lodge. And then I wouldn't be able to get him back. But now he's here. He's here. Ooh, is that a safe? Hello? Uh, mm, uh, that's not worth it. Okay, let's see. How many more do I got to do for piloting? I am at... Zero of 30. I just want to fly my brand new spaceship, guys. I just want to fly my spaceship. Gotta shoot down 30 of these doggone things. <sighs> fine, fine. Looking to polish those flying skills? Well, the goal remains the same. Defeat as many opponents as you can before your ship is disabled. Defeat three tiers of opponents to complete the exam. Good hunting. Prepare for your next target. New targets active. You won't defeat us. Target defeated. All targets eliminated. Progress recorded. Tier 1 reached. Initiating Tier 2. Twenty-nine. New targets active. Well done. You've cleared a sufficient number of tiers to complete the exam. 
You may now exit the simulator, or stay and try your hand at the remaining enemy groups. See if I can get through the next one without the admin card. And... New targets active. Time for some cheats. This is the one that really gets me. <clears throat> All right, debug tools, authorized users only, unlock. Yeah, one available, active, sounds good. Infinite upgrades, and deployed. And one available, and one available. There we go. There are my two allies. Let's see if we can help them out. What? Extermination protocols active. Okay, well, that got me to what, like, seven, maybe? Exit. Shut it down. That was eight. I destroyed eight ships. 
All right, so I do that maybe four more times. No, three more times. Do that three more times, and I can finally buy my ship. Can I get that done this broadcast? Maybe, but you know what? I'm going to space it out a little bit. Let's work on some quests here in New Atlantis. Where were we? All right, well, we need to check on that guy, but it's a shipment for Salinas. Told me that I need to pick up a package from Red Mile. He'll do business with me. Where's Red Mile? Red Tape Blues. Trevor needs me to help him get a request for new equipment approved by the Demos Mining Executive. I'm supposed to apply to be an executive assistant through the company's application system at the Demos Star Yard. Right, that's Mars. Ground Pounder. Ooh, overrun by spacers. They urgently need help. Maybe I'll do that. I'm curious about this one. A shipment for Salinas. Ooh, all the way at Porima. So a completely new star system. Have I been here yet? Let's do it. Porima 3. Set course. Extreme environment. The Red Mile is an infamous gambling den. Offers one of the deadliest challenges in the settled systems. Pretty normal gravity, but we've got extreme cold here. Package is just sitting out here? Selena's package. Okay. I'm curious about the Red Mile, though. Let's do a quick save. Think we'd notice that you tried to slip away without paying your check? I was just going out for some fresh air. I, I even told the bartender. You can ask her yourself. Fresh air, huh? On a planet with no atmosphere. <laughs> That's enough, stalker. Lower your weapon. We don't shoot guests over a misunderstanding. Sir, please return to your table. It's bad practice to leave our establishment without paying your bill first. If you need some fresh air, pay up, go outside, and come back in and start a new check when you're ready. Smart. I'm sorry, but I didn't think it would be a problem. You were wrong. 
did wrong. That's enough. I think the gentleman understands. Now let's all go back inside, shall we? And Stalker, okay. you and I are going to talk about this later. I can't wait. <laughs> right. Hello, Stalker. Hey, watch out. You cause trouble, and I will not hesitate to end you in any number of ways I see fit. This ain't the United Colonies, Cupcake. Here, you listen to me. I lead the security force. So, you run some sort of private security force? Call it whatever you want. We're ecliptic mercenaries, so I think twice about pissing us off. Or else you may find yourself with nowhere to hide. Ah. Ecliptic mercenaries. Oh, do I really want to be diving into this right now before I start working with the Freestar Collective? Hmm. Why would a mercenary force like Ecliptic take on a job like this? What do you think, moron? Money. May pays us well to keep the assholes out. I make sure my people pretty much get the run of the place. Free booze, free entertainment, you name it. And if anyone's got a problem with it, well, we've got ways of making people disappear. What's with the security here? Why are you all so hostile? Because we have to deal with the dregs of society, like you. Because May lets us handle things our way. Best way to keep people in line is through fear. After you see your first head split open on the bar floor, you're gonna think twice about skipping out on your tab. Maybe you don't start that fight over your lost bet. You get it now? Well, yeah, but it depends on how many people witness it. If you split a head every time somebody comes in and tries to skip on the check, that's a lot of split heads. Okay. Oh, hold on. Keep it up. I'm about this close to laying your ass flat out on the floor. No one wants that. Go bother someone else now. Hey, buddy, are you uh, all right? <laughs> you believe that? Like I'm gonna run off without paying. The hell kind of scum do they think I am? And then May walked back inside. Tell you what, I don't think I'm ready to explore this place yet. My goal was to whittle down on the quest I already have while maximizing my affinity with Barrett here. So let's continue to focus on that before taking on any new ones. We got the package. Let's go deliver it.
people are a class act. Hey. Any way we can repay you? <laughs> Extra repair parts, please. Done. Thanks again for the help. You see out. Okay. Container at max capacity, doggone it. This is why I need to get my new ship. Bonk. Okay, well, we just added, what, two, two new ships to our account there? So we're at 10 now. Let's go turn in this quest, though. All right, all the way back to Alpha Centauri. Deliver the parts. Jemison. Greg Williams with a super chat says, Hey Ox, look! Why is the color green notoriously so single? It's because the color is so jaded. Uh... I wonder as life forms ourselves, is it even possible for us to feel comfort in anything but the familiarity of other life? Greg continues, also I'm buying Starfield tomorrow. Play on good sir, thank you Greg Williams. I hope you enjoy the game. Art Pixel says, probably a good idea. Your quest you list is pretty long. Like Maybe do some faction quests after, they're pretty interesting. With heat leech nests. Would be thank nice you touch. Art Pixel. Let's go turn this in, where do we need to go? Uh, over here, I believe. Wait, do we fast travel there? To Salinas in the commercial district, I, be, I bet. I used to be an actuary. Now yes. look at it. It took years. Or not. Okay. Where we at? Working at the distribution center can be tired. Are you working toward that next technological leap? Then let Ryujin Industries help you get there. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe it's not the commercial district. I totally forgot who gave me that quest. Oh. Is it the well? Fiddler the Keeper says it's the well? Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Consider common wisdom that Sidonia's best days are long behind us. Apex Electronics. You'll be free uh, to peruse my wares once you deliver the package to me. I remember this now. It's a quaint shop, isn't it? I like it here. Here's that package for you. Ah, excellent. I see you've held up your end of the bargain. So, 
I'll do the same. Salinas Hardware is now open for business. All right. I'll unlock the door for you. Feel free to come around and peruse my wares anytime. What's on your mind? Great. Let's peruse the wares. No lawyering, okay? I don't have the patience for it. Can't say I'll have what you need. But you're welcome to look. Oh, this must be for another quest. I'm with the SSNN, and I'd like to ask you some questions about your business. A reporter? Fine, but I'm only talking basics. I don't like people snooping around my business. How have things been in the well recently? How the hell do you think? Life's a mess down here. I'm not holding my breath for it to get any better. Will you tell me more about yourself? Name's Henrik. I own Apex Electronics. That's all I'm willing to say to some nosy reporter. I'd like to know how things are going at Apex Electronics. Door still open, isn't it? That's my idea of success. Sorry if you were hoping for something more flowery. Okay, primary sources. That's one of three. Well, I think that should be enough. Great! Now why don't you help me out and buy something? I scratch your back, you scratch mine. Ash Malachi says, Ox, if you're not going to use missiles and ship panels, you should add the power elsewhere, and you can add cargo space at the shipbuilder. Thank you, Ash Malachi. I actually use missiles in every space battle. I don't know if you've noticed, um, but they are limited. They've got a timer, so I try to cycle between the three primary uh, types of firepower that I have, lasers, ballistic, and missiles. But I do use them in every battle. Also, I'm well aware that I can add cargo at any shipbuilder, as I've done a couple of times during my broadcast in the past. The problem is that the profile of the ship that I have now, the Mantis, has very few spots where I can attach cargo, and I have a beautiful ship that I had custom made that can hold anything I want, and I'm just leveling up my pilot skill so that I can actually ac uh, access it. Noah Seagrist says, do you support the Empire of the Turtles? I love turtles. Any empire they rule is an empire I can get behind. Uh, well, let's see if I what his inventory Henry looks like. from time to time. Don't mind me. What have you got for Just sale? Just a weird... Okay, then. Come on back. What was that? <laughs> what was his mouth? <laughs> okay, then. Come on back. <laughs> All right, what do you got to sell, Vincent? Or Vicente, I believe. Take a look. That was terrifying. Right, let's see the weapons. Acid rain. Ooh. It should have been named chocolate rain. But I'll take acid rain. It's got corrosive damage on it. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, you know. Brawler's Equinox. That's nice. 10,000, though. I mean, I know I just dropped 20k on a weapon, but... 10,000? Still, bashing deals double damage when gun bashing. I rarely do gun bashing. That's all right. Okay. Modified, modified. Let's take a look at the ammo. Lots of ammunition here. Oh, I love all of the different weapon types they've got. And throwables. Okay, so we unlocked a new shop that we can sell at. I don't know if I have anything that I need to sell. Um... He only takes weapons. Interesting. Weapons, ammo, ammo, and throwables. Okay, since we started a new quest, uh, started doing a new quest here, let's go ahead and track it. Where was it? Uh, primary sources? Yes. Now we gotta do Teresa at Kay's house and Nurse O'Shea at the medbay. Now, the whole point of, of this is that I'm trying to improve my affinity with Barrett here. So, should I take a Paramour? I only have a few of them. Last 10 minutes. Companion affinity increases faster for 10 minutes. Let's do it. Okay. Primary sources.
Always nice to see a fresh face around here. You stop in whenever you'd like. Everyone's welcome, so long as you keep your hands to yourself. Understand? We chatted with her a bit in here. during my first broadcast. I'm with the SSNN and I'd like to ask you some questions about your business. Absolutely. I'm sure my mom would be proud to have the place featured in an article. What's up? How are things in the well? <sighs> Same as ever. I've lived in the well my whole life, and things have never really changed. The UC government promises to clean the place up every couple years, but there's still just as much crime and poverty as there was when I was a kid. That's why Kay's house is so important. It's the one place people in the well feel safe. Be sure to put that in the article, okay? I'm really proud of it. Tell me more about yourself. Yeah, sure thing. I'm Teresa Mason, and this is my home. My mom's the K who founded Kay's house. I grew up here along with the business. My mom passed the place on to me when she decided to retire. Running it is my pride and joy. I've put everything I have into it. I'd like to know how things have been with your business lately. Business is steady, as usual. We don't tolerate violence or disrespect, so a lot of folks like to spend time here. The only thing that's worrying me is a new group of customers I've seen hanging around lately. They've been watching the UC Surplus store pretty closely. I have a bad feeling they might be planning something. Kay's house has a reputation as a safe place. I don't want to be associated with that kind of thing. Now that is interesting. We could say I'd be happy to look into it for you. Honestly, I'd really appreciate that. I'd feel terrible if something happened and I hadn't done anything to try to stop it. Why don't you come by when you have some spare time? And we'll talk it out. Okay. Suspicious activities, brand new mission. Okay. I think that should be enough to go on. Great. Let me know when the article comes out, will you? I'd like to read it. Do you know uh, why this place has stood for so long? Okay, one thing I at a time. I make sure everyone's comfy. So we got a new quest from her. Let's work on the one we are currently doing, and then we'll do that quest for her. Next, we can talk I've to I've got Talia limited resources, Oshay. but I try not to turn anyone away just because they're light on credits. We're doing the best we can here. That's all we can ever do. Article. A journalist? That's a surprise. Most people don't think anything that goes on in the well is worth writing about. I'd be happy to help if I can. How have things been in the well recently? Things are always the same in the well. Violent and dangerous. I swear I treat more injuries here than I did when I was a Navy medic. Tell me more about yourself. Sure, if you'd like. My name's Talia. I was born and raised right here in the well. I've been the nurse here at the Med Bay for over a decade now. Once upon a time, I was a combat medic for the UC Navy. When the colony war ended, I came back to the well to put my skills to use for the people here. I like to know how things are going at the med bay these days. Things are always rough at the med bay. I'm the closest thing to a doctor that the well has, and I can't treat everyone. The last few weeks have been especially bad. There's some kind of infection going around, and a lot of kids down here are catching it. Oh no. It just breaks my heart to see. I'd be happy to help you out with that. Oh, you're sweet to offer. There might be something you can do, if you're willing. Let's chat again when you have some time to spare, all right? All right. That'll be enough to go on. All right, dear. You let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. Okay, we picked up two side quests here in the well. That's perfect. Let's go turn in the one that we've got, and we'll come back to work on these two.
have a nice day now. Talk and get paid, I spread the news, it's a classic win-win. My source is back. Here to report anything else? <clears throat> wow, yeah. We can report about the Galbank robbery on Aquila City. You certainly get around. I'm surprised that branch has any customers left the number of times it's been held up. But I thought the Rangers had finally managed to get a handle on it. I heard there was a standoff. That true? Uh, I can't believe that bank has been hit more than once. My first time there, too. Welcome to Aquila. Don't mind the robbery. Or there was a standoff, all right. Let's try first time there, too. I hear the robbers are provided free of charge. All part of the service. What happened to the robbers? The Shaw Gang? The Marshal and I worked together and the gang were all arrested. They were convinced to let the hostages go. They were arrested or I negotiated with the gang and talked them down. That's true, but I did work with the Marshal, so we'll do that. I'm sure he was thankful for your assistance. These things are often messy. Any customers or Galbank staff get hurt? It was a bit of a blur, sorry. Or thankfully, there were no casualties. Not even any injuries that I know of. That's really good news. Usually, well, it's a different kind of story. You were there. You were involved in resolving it. Any comment on the Freestar Rangers? Having another high-profile robbery in their own backyard is a bit of a black eye. Mm. If the Rangers can't protect their own bank, who can they protect? No comment. Or desperate people do desperate things. The Rangers kept it from turning into a massacre. Let's try and give them a little bit of credit here. Huh. That's really good to know. Stories like this always fire up public outrage and appetite. Thanks for the interview. And take this. 900 bucks. Now we can turn in the other task that we if have If you have a her. new story for me, I'm very happy to pay your fee. I finished interviewing the business owners in the well for you. Hey, that's great! Thanks so much. Did everything go all right? Uh, everything was fine. Things seemed pretty bad down there. Or I get why your bosses didn't want to send you down there. Um, not everything was fine. So, things seemed pretty bad. That's why stories like this one are so important. If people knew what was going on down there, maybe they'd want to help fix it. I can't thank you enough for helping me out. I'll send you a copy of the story if it gets published. <laughs> There's nothing like seeing your name in print. Okay. And we're done. Back to the grind. With primary sources. Ooh, updated check-in on Kelton later. Is that one being tracked now? Does that mean he's got more tree stuff for me to do? Yeah. Okay, well, he's going to be right over there, so let's continue with that one and see... Chief Diplomat Yassin runs a tight ship. Uh, let's see what's happened with the trees, why they're making noise. Evening, sir. Time for an update. Thank you for Kelton. your help retrieving the biosensors. These findings are alarming. These findings are 
Alarming. Okay, this is me checking back. The data from... Let's hope that Mast takes these findings seriously. Thank you for your help retrieving the biosensors. Well, okay. Let's hope that Mast takes these findings seriously. I guess I can't do that right now. So let's do the well quests. Reliable care and suspicious activities. Let's talk with Teresa Mason in the well. Jamin Cohen says, go set up an outpost on a remote planet. You can construct a bunch of containers to store extra stuff. That way you can store all of your resources for now and worry less about shifting loot around. That's probably great wisdom, and it's something I want to do. I am intimidated, however, by the outpost system at the moment. Probably unreasonably. Probably because I haven't dabbled in it yet. It's probably really intuitive, and I just haven't bothered to do it yet. But, needless to say, uh, I'm intimidated by the system yet, and I want to tackle it when I can devote all of my mental resources to it. And I don't want to do that right now. Right now, I'm focused primarily on the story. So, I don't mind suffering with a little bit of inventory mismanagement uh, for the moment while I try to navigate these quests in this world. But trust me, I will get there. I will do it, we'll build settlements. It's gonna happen. Stay as long as you like. And no don't shortage be a of hungry mouths to feed around here. Keeps us on our toes, nothing else. I'd like to help you figure out what those suspicious customers are up to. Would you? I I'd really appreciate it. I saw them hanging around the UC surplus earlier today. They sure looked suspicious to me. What makes you think they're up to something? They've been coming here regularly for the last couple weeks, and all they do is sit on the balcony and watch the UC surplus. I thought I heard them mention a robbery, but I'm not sure. They seem to know I'm onto them, so they stop talking about it when I'm around. I'll take care of them before they can cause any trouble, or I'll head straight to the security office and report them. Well, if we take care of them, that might lead to murder and violence, but it could also lead to a persuasion opportunity. And I definitely need to pass more persuasion checks to level up that ability. Let's try that. That's not how I want this handled. Kay's place is the only safe haven in the well. I can't condone violence. Okay. If anyone's going to handle them, it should be security. Right. But I have to be sure they're up to something before I get the authorities involved. I don't want to get anyone on security's bad side for no reason. Why don't you do a little sleuthing for me? Maybe you'll have better luck eavesdropping on them than I did. We can decide what to do once we figure out if they're really up to something. Okay, find the suspicious people outside the UC surplus. Can do. I'll tell you what, let's uh, use my chem that uh, makes me quieter. What was it called again? It was called... Uh, recon stim. I don't know, Isaac. It seems like a tough joint to crack. Nah, that's just what they want you to think, Louie. You see, you see security around here? No, but... But nothing. I say we strike while the iron's hot. I got a feeling that goody two-shoes at Kay's place is gonna rat us out. She was giving us some serious side-eye last time we were in there. See? No time like the present. We'll do it tonight. We'll be fine, trust me. We'll be in and out in time to make last call at Jake's. If we pull this off, we'll be swimming in credits. That's a pretty big if. I've just about had enough of you doubting me, Louis. <laughs> I guess I, I need to work on my self-confidence. If we can make this happen, we'll be real big shots around here. I sure hope we can make it happen. Hey, I thought you were on my side here. I, if you say so, Isaac. Frick's info is good. This will be a piece of cake. I've never seen anybody else try something like this. You gotta trust me. We'll be fine. I have a real bad feeling about this. If we pull this off, we'll be swimming. Okay, are they recycling credits. dialogue now? I've never
never seen anybody else try yeah, something like this. Yeah, they're recycling dialogue now. Hey, I thought you were on my side. Okay, well, sleuthing accomplished. Let's bring it home. If you haven't, make sure you say hello to Mama. She likes checking in with everyone. You were right. Those people are definitely planning to rob the UC's a surplus. Damn. I was hoping I had it wrong. <sighs> I guess that settles it. We have to get the authorities involved before they can go through with the robbery. You should take this straight to Officer Endler at the security office. He'll look into it. If he gives you a hard time, tell him I sent you to make the report. That'll get him on your side. Do you and Officer Endler know each other well? Sort of. He's a regular customer, and I've reported crimes to him before. He's more fair-minded than most of the Wells security officers. Where can I find a security offer? Head out the door and turn left. It's all the way at the end of the street. You can't miss it. We don't need security. I can take care of a couple of petty thieves. Well, we know how she's going to react to that, so I'll say... Understood. I'll head straight to the security office. Thanks. Let me know when you've made the report, okay? Yep. We'll do, but will security do the right thing? No. All right, turn left, end of the street. <laughs> Why do you see security do that from time to time? Whoa! Look at this guy! Whoa! What I wouldn't give to be stationed in the embassy district. Something I can help you with? I have a crime to report. <sighs> well, that's what we're here for. What's going on? Actually, never mind. Or there's going to be a robbery at the UC Surplus. The UC Surplus? You sure about that? It's been a long time since someone was stupid enough to rob that place. Why don't people try to rob the UC Surplus? It's a military outfit for one thing. Most criminals don't want to make an enemy of the UC. The guy who runs is pretty intense, too. He wouldn't think twice about shooting a would-be thief. Uh, we could say I heard them planning it more myself, or we could go Teresa Mason asked me to make the report, I'm sure. That's so. <laughs> Nobody in the well is more reliable than Teresa. If she says there's a problem, I believe it. You can tell her I'm personally looking into it. That should ease of mine. Those thieves won't be so cocky with security on patrol. Hmm. Will he, or will he just ignore it? Well, he's certainly hopping to something. You know I went to chef school? Eh, this ain't exactly where I saw myself. And they move. Security's on to us. You can feel it. We gotta lay low for a while. We'll pick an easier target next time. That did it. Okay, he just had to walk over here and stand intimidatingly. <laughs> that spooked him. All right. I think we solved it. That was quick. How'd things go with Officer Endler? He seemed suspicious at first, but he agreed to handle it. He said he'd patrol the area to make the thieves nervous. He said to tell you that he's going to patrol the area himself. I knew I could count on him. He always handles this kind of thing fairly. Thanks for your help with this. I feel a lot better knowing security's on patrol down there. 3,300 credits. All right. We are racking in the XP here. Now, uh, let's do that other well quest. Whoops. Let's do that other well quest that we picked up while we were down here. Reliable care. Speak to Nurse O'Shea at the med bay. Three, if you need patching up, we'll see what we can do. I'd like to help you out with the sick children in your clinic. Oh, you remembered. I'm touched, dear, really. Yes, there's absolutely something you can do to help. All the children seem to have the same stomach bug, but I'm having trouble diagnosing it. Pediatrics isn't my specialty. But one of my colleagues, Dr. Lebedev, is an expert. If I had his research notes, I'm sure I could diagnose the disease and find a treatment. Dr. Lebedev? That's a great name. Do you know where Dr. Lebedev might be? 
He works topside at Reliant Medical. It's easy to find. It's right between Mast and Orion Tower. Dr. Lebedev is always there. I can't wait to learn his first name. Can you tell me more about the situation? I've seen an uptick in cases of sick children in the med bay recently. They all seem to be presenting the same symptoms, but I can't identify the cause. It isn't serious enough to kill them, but I haven't found an effective treatment yet. That has me worried. I can get the notes for you. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'd go myself, but I can't leave the med bay unattended. All right, time to find Lebedev. Ah, it's gonna be way over there. Uh, this is an awkward situation. Trouble zone from scattered farms throughout the Freestar Collective. There are unconfirmed reports of farmers being targeted by an unknown group or gang whose motives are unclear. Although we have not been able to track down specifics, it's clear that someone is preying on them. The Freestar Ranger said, this matter is under active investigation, and any lead should be reported to them. Interesting. We didn't get a quest out of that, though. Okay. I have a feeling today's going to be a great day. Don't you agree? Donna, are you talking to me? Hello, Donna. Another day, another credit. Anything you recommend doing in New Atlantis? Well, that depends. Are you a foodie or a shopper? I prefer more illicit activities. I do enjoy spending a few credits from uh, from time to time, or I'm definitely a foodie. If that's the case, you have a lot of options here in New Atlantis. Don's Roost is probably the fanciest. They have great steaks there. But I'll be honest, I'm more of a chunks girl, and my boyfriend and I can't get enough of Terra Brew. Ugh, chunks. How's it going? Oh, hi there. I'm doing great. How about you? Uh... I've been struggling to find meaning in my life. <laughs> yes, let's get intimate and personal. Hmm, we've all been there, I think. <laughs> Maybe you just need to find a goal to strive towards. I've been trying to save up enough money so that I can go explore the settled systems with my boyfriend, Tony. I think we're finally getting close. All right. You want to leave New Atlantis? Why? Tony and I want to see what else is out there. I love my job, but there has to be more to life than just being a janitor in New Atlantis. What about you? Have you gone on any adventures? Uh... I joined the Vanguard and killed a terror morph. What? You killed a, a what? Oh, don't get me wrong, that's cool. But also scary. We could say no offense, but you look a bit tired. <laughs> or we could say, how's it going? Sometimes I wonder if me and my boyfriend spend too much money on Terra Brew. But somebody's got to drink it, right? Yeah, might as well be you. We can ask her, how's it going again? It's not grayed out. All right, what's she got to say? Not too bad. Found a box of pens the other day. You'd be amazed at what people leave lying around. Found a box of pens. Okay, no offense, but you look a little tired. Really? Well, I guess you're right. I'm feeling a bit run down. I really love my job, but it's hard work and long hours. I could definitely use a Terracino from Terra Brew right now. Oh. Well, I can go get you one. It's no trouble. Really? That's so sweet. I really appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Let's get her a coffee. Let's set mission active. You know, might as well. All right, deliver a uh, Terra Brew. Take care of yourself. That's <laughs> just... Can't just sidetrack all the time. All right, uh... Terra Brew, that was over here to the left, right? was. 
There's Gal Bank. Oh, it's near the spaceport? Uh, Alright, I'll do that later. Okay, so I still have this one. No, I'll have this one tagged. Uh, okay, let's do this one. Boom. Are you working toward that next technological leap? Then let Ryujin... the last spaceship, but then I realize my tank sprung a leak. I'm stuck. And the only place close enough to land? Wait. You're not suggesting. Toleman 2. Terramorph Heaven. So, I sat down, grab the highest caliber weapon I've got, and start walking. Start blasting. Boom. If that had actually happened, you wouldn't be standing here. No lie. Hell, you're welcome to go ask around the marine outpost I stumbled into. You're the only reason I'm still breathing. I <laughs> set foot on that death trap. I think I'll just take your word for it. I'm surprised they didn't give me a side quest for overhearing that conversation. Okay, Reliant Medical. Let's see if we can get these notes. Having no. a good one? I'm not feeling that bad. We have an appointment. You're seeing the doctor. That's it. I... Maybe some other time. I have that report that's due. I talked to your boss. She agreed that you need to take care of yourself. I know it's tough, honey, but a lot of times, the earlier they catch something, the better it is. You're right. I know you're right. I just wish they wouldn't keep us waiting so long. It's How taken long weeks of talking to, to get my uh, wife to around and talking to me The doctors better get here. Okay, hey there, Doc. There are a few injuries that can't be addressed here. If you walk in, you will almost assuredly walk out. Well, that's good news. Welcome to Reliant. If you're in need of medical assistance or require supplies, I am sure we can accommodate you. Tell me more about Reliant Medical. Well, everyone knows Reliant, largest medical provider in the settled systems. They've spent decades advancing medical science with their research division, and have built an entire supply network to keep us all healthy. They've always been quite proud to work here. You must see a lot of patients. Well, of course. New Atlantis is a big place. Lots of people, which means no shortage of injuries, communicable diseases. But we're well staffed and do our best to accommodate anyone who needs help. Nurse O'Shea sent me to ask for your help with a medical issue. A medical problem Talia can't solve. I never thought I'd see the day. How can I help? Uh, do you and Nurse O'Shea know each other well? We've been professional acquaintances for a long time. She's an excellent nurse. If the well didn't need her so badly, I'd have offered her a job here ages ago. Some children in the well have caught a stomach bug, and Nurse O'Shea needs help diagnosing it. Sick children? Well, we can't have that. I'd be happy to help. Let's see. A stomach bug. I've treated plenty of those. I keep extensive notes. Ah, I'm sure ah, I have something that can help. Ah, there, there you go. ah yes, here we go. Ah, this okay. should do the trick. Uh, I've uploaded some of my notes on common stomach issues in pediatric patients to this slave. Please, pass it on to Talia. She can keep it. And give her my best, will you? I hope everything works out for those kids. Okay. Well, he was really nice. Great. And we didn't have to wait. First time for a doctor. Now, while we were having that conversation, our activities log updated to talk to the tree guy again. Do we dare... <laughs> do we dare check to see whether or not the tree guy actually has an update for us? Because the I last time we did, that he had nothing to say. Lion. Let's try... Speak with Kelton Frosch. Okay. Medical is top notch.
Huh. Well, Finally. isn't this a pleasant surprise? I hadn't expected to run into you again. Well, you did tell me to check in again. Last time I saw you, you were pretty agitated. Yes, well, I had good reason to be distressed. You had already helped me establish that there is something unprecedented going on with this tree. Now my superiors have been made aware. There is growing concern. Oh my, a bit of an unintentional ah. pun, isn't that? Ah. Well, concern that growing things concern. are going to get worse. The data we <laughs> gathered points to a definitive trend. The vibrations coming from this tree are increasing in strength and frequency. Because we've never seen this before, not on this scale, we have absolutely no idea what the upper limit is. We don't know when or even if this will stop. It's imperceptible by normal human standards now, but given time. While I hesitate to speculate on the possibilities, well, none of them are good. Sounds like it's time for the tree to come down. I mean, yeah. You are not the first to suggest it. However, until I have all the data and a clear picture of what's going on, I am not willing to concede the point. There is data regarding other, younger members of the species. Unfortunately, there are some, shall we say, personal issues with acquiring it. Mm. <clears throat> per per personnel issues, if you <laughs> understand me. <laughs> what was that clarification? Personal issues acquiring a tree or personnel issues? You gotta clarify there. Uh, let me guess, co-worker and a jilted lover? What? No, that is ridiculous. You said personal. I am a professional. One of the other researchers in MAST, Emilio Hadek, has research I believe could be vital to my work here. He and I don't see eye to eye, and so far he's refused to turn it over to me. I'm hoping that if someone else were to ask, he might be more inclined to relinquish it. What do you say? Well, I am getting pretty good at persuasion. Why won't Emilio turn the data over to you? He's held a grudge against me for years. It's petty, really. I'm sure he thinks that doing this now will hold back my career. He wouldn't listen when I tried to explain this isn't about me. There are bigger concerns. Mm, I get it. You want me to squeeze him, make him squirm. I don't want to get involved in this or I'll get your research. Oh, thank you. At last I knew he was on a field assignment somewhere near the outskirts of the city. Uh, perhaps it's best if you don't mention my name in the process. Good idea. Right, talk to Emilio Haddock, uh, but we're just getting so many quests. Hold on, let's do reliable care first. Let's finish this one, and then we gotta go get the coffee, and then we gotta go get the research and talk to the tree guy. And... Local security and the free star rangers surround So much. Eyewitness said that it was remarkable that the Rangers were able to keep the situation from devolving into a massacre. Hey, that's me. I'm the eyewitness. Journalistic integrity at its finest. Okay, Nurse O'Shea. I've got limited resources, but I try not to turn it. We're doing the best we can here. That's all we can ever do. My brother works at Sprout Eklund, and he said Demos is going out of business. I have the research notes you needed from Dr. Lebedev. Really? Let's see. Ah, oh, this is perfect. I knew Dr. Lebedev would have what I needed. I'll have this solved in no time with these notes for reference. Thank you so much, dear. Really, I couldn't have done this without you. Okay, 2,500 credits, completed quest, all right. Hey, Barrett, how close are we to having another conversation? Hello, Captain. Personal questions? Mm-hmm, go on, I'm all ears. Nothing new, right. 
let's uh, do out on a limb. Talk to Emilio Hadek. And perhaps on our way, we'll pick up a coffee for what's her name? Outskirts of the city, eh? Let's see what that looks like. Stay safe out there. Why is it sending me back to the tree guy? Mind your step. Important oh. research happening here. It's a different tree, uh, tree guy. <sighs> Could you stand a little to the left? I think you're blocking my readings. Hmm. I instantly don't like this guy. What are you doing out here? Oh, it's important research. I won't bore you with the technical details, but it's critical that I get this done. Well, we could drop Kilton Frush's name and say that he asked us to get some data from him, but that's probably not going to work. So instead, we'll say, I'm on mast business too. Need some research data on trees. Trees? Uh, I see what's going on here. You're working with Kelton, aren't you? Nice try, but it's not happening. Mm. No, no way. Kelton is actively ruining my career. There's no chance that I'm helping him with anything. Really? Whatever is this he? thing is he's on about, he's just doing it to make himself look good with the higher-ups. I'm not helping him with that. What a douche. Erica Pettit says, Side quests are like Hydra's heads. Take care of one, two more, take its place. <laughs> exactly. Why are you so against helping him? Kelton screwed me over good. Probably ruined my chances for advancing in Mast. I'm not going to forgive that, ever. Well, what did he do? You should be the bigger man here, we could say, or Kelton says this isn't about him. Lives could be at stake. Let's see what he says about that. <laughs> right. Of course, we're all in danger. Trees are involved, after all. Uh, he really won't let this go, will he? Hmm. Maybe I can make this work in my favor. Okay, you know what? I'll hand over the data. But I'm only going to do so after you've helped me secure a better position in Mast. Uh, what do you want me to do? Oh, don't worry. You're just going to erase some files for me. Make oh. sure I look good next time promotions get passed around. Sounds shady, and I don't want anything to do with it. Well, then I guess we don't have anything else to discuss, and Kelton can just forget about getting his hands on the data. See you around. Mm -hmm. Changed your mind, did you? Willing to help me get a promotion? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm in. Wait, really? Wow, okay. Okay. You know, fine. What could go wrong? I've he gotten a few that. bad performance evaluations in the last couple of years. Totally unjustified, incredibly unfair. I found a backdoor into the mass network so I could make some changes to my personnel file. But it turns out the chief engineer knows what she's doing. The only way to get access is from the terminal in her apartment, which is kind of locked. Yeah. I mean, you're asking me to break and enter here? Why not just finish what you started all by yourself? Two reasons. First, because if I get caught doing it, then I'm really in trouble, and there's no getting out of it. Second, I've got someone who needs something from me and is totally unaffiliated with my branch of mast. If you get caught, it's got nothing to do with me. How can I pass up this opportunity? <laughs> Sounds like a fun challenge. I like it. So it's doubly illegal, or we can pass a persuade check to say... How about you just give me Kelton's data now, and we skip the rest? 
<laughs> Sorry, that's not on the table. It's only a four. Okay, let's try and pass a three persuasion check to say this isn't the way to get ahead. From where I'm standing, kind of seems like it is. Mm. Or a four to say you're making this personal and it doesn't need to be. Kelton already made this personal, you know. I'm just fixing it. Well, we could risk another four, or we could use our auto-persuade, which we just banked. Hey, take it easy. Okay, look, look. Just hear me out, all right? I really need this to happen. If you do this for me, I can make it worth your while. You delete that data, I get promoted, I'm pulling in a bigger salary. I can compensate you. I'll throw in some extra credits for you, okay? A nice little bonus. But first, you need to get into the chief engineer's apartment. Um... We could say, fine, I'll do it for the credits, but you better not stiff me. Or enough of this, I won't do it. Hand over the data now. I mean, it would be interesting to go s sneak into somebody's apartment. I'm kind of curious about how that resolves itself. But it's also kind of unethical. Don't know if I really want to do that. Let's say I uh, hand over the data now. Fine, fine, you win. Just get out of my sight. And tell Kelton to stuff it. And we got affinity from Barrett. We got two points of affinity from Barrett in this quest. That's great. Let's go deliver the data to Kelton. If we keep running into each other like this, you might as well be put on the mast payroll. I hope you have the data. It's really quite crucial. Uh, it took some convincing, but here it is. Wonderful. I see you have the gift of the gab. <laughs> I hope that Emilio wasn't too insufferable. <laughs> it pretty much was. I'm sorry if this was complicated. I'd prefer to remain unaware of the details in the event that it comes up later. Particularly in a legal setting. And I suppose I'd better verify the data to make sure Emilio didn't double-cross me. But you have once again come through for me. I'm truly hoping that this is the last piece I need to figure out what we can do. Okay. I'll do anything if the credits are good. Cutting the thing down is always an option, or I'm just doing my part. I'll just do my part. And I appreciate it. Thank you for your assistance. Okay. Quest complete. Caps received. Activities. Check in on Kelton later. Wow, this is uh, a detailed quest. Well, uh, in the meantime... Let's go get a coffee for what's-her-name. Deliver a Terra Brew Cappuccino to Donna Rain. All right, so we gotta go to the coffee shop. And that's by the spaceport, isn't it? I'm so excited to see Tony after work. Terra Brew! Terra, Terra Brew, Terra, Terra Brew, Terra Brew! Cappuccino, eh? Okay. Hello. Hello, and welcome to Terra Brew. How may I serve you? I'd like to place an order, please. Certainly. Please take your time. I would like a cappuccino. Hooray. Not now. Can't you see how busy I am? You can shove it, Helena. You're just a crazy creep lady.
Drake Shot Plays says, Ox, you love shotguns, and in neon, at the eye patch vendor, there is an OP explosive round shotgun for sale called Boom Boom. Oh, oh man. I will take anything called Boom Boom. Man, I need to make it back to neon. Thank you for that one, Drake Shot Plays. I'll use Boom Boom right next to Thump Thump. Hey, Captain. Need help with anything? No, I'm good, Barrett. Thank you. One day, I'm gonna leave New Atlantis for good. I wonder if I'll miss New Atlantis when Tony and I leave. No, probably not. Here's the Terracino you wanted. Oh, thank you so much. Soon I'll be coursing with bountiful energy. I'll be the most enthusiastic janitor in New Atlantis. <laughs> Here, take this. Uh... I found it while I was cleaning. I figured you might find a use for it. Thanks again. I really appreciate it. We got credits. And what else did we get? What did she give us? See you around. What did she give us? It didn't tell us. Inventory. It was just the money. All right. Well, to be young and full of energy again. She loves Tony. She loves coffee. She loves exploring. Life is good. Right. Uh, well, we got an update to check in with what's his name? The tree guy again. So let's go do that. All right, Kelton. What is it this time? The data on this slate could very well be crucial. Lives could be at stake. Oh, don't tell me this is this again. Thank you again for getting the data from Emilio. Uh, I know he can be a pain. Another glitch. Right, um, well, we completed all the quests here that we wanted to. Barrett, I don't think is ready. Let's get out there and do something new today, shall we? Of course. Ask away. No, he's not. So, let's kill some ships. And then I think I want to do the Ground Pounder quest. Not yet, don't worry, I will come back. I will come back. We've got work to do. And I'm, in, I'm there for it, but I got, I got things. I got things I want to do first. I will be back, I promise. Pilot Simulator. Shy Guy says, don't forget about the kids. I did that already. I, I handed in the research notes to the Dr. O'Shea. Deuteronomy says, Ox, have you been to Gagarin? Looking to polish those flying skills? Well, the goal remains the same. Defeat as many opponents as you can before your ship is disabled. Defeat three tiers of opponents to complete the exam. Good hunting. He says, uh, have you been to Gagarin and spoken to the lawyer for Barrett's quest? No, for Barrett's quest, New I haven't gotten active. that yet. Missile! 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 There, see, I'm using missiles. All targets eliminated. Progress recorded. Tier 1 reached. Initiating Tier 2. New targets active. which uh, ammunition I'm using at the top of the circle. Systems down. There you can see I used 50 missiles. All and targets eliminated. Progress papers. recorded. Tier right, 2 reached. Initiating up. Tier 3. Okay, Tier 3. Targets active. 
That was targeting the clock. Tier 3 reached. Well done. You've cleared a sufficient number of tiers to complete the exam. You may now exit the simulator, or stay and try your hand at the remaining enemy groups. They, um, the exam from the cockpit's system terminal. They knocked out my engines, they knocked out my missiles, they knocked out my lasers. All right, well. Exit simulator. Shutting down. Piloting. All right, we're at 15 of 30. We are halfway there. Do I knock this out or do I... Uh, I mean, I really want my... I don't have a skill point to spend, though. So even if I do knock it out, I need to level up. And I'm almost at my next level, I think. Let's go to status here. Uh, yeah, I'm just a few thousand points away from my next level. You can use your admin card at the start. Can I, says Fiddler, uh, can I Fiddler Helper? All right. Maybe I knock out 15 more ships and then go level up by doing one more quest and that should get me what I need. Now, uh, chat said something about Barrett's personal quest and I don't think I have his quest yet. So I wanna check real quick. Yeah. I don't have a quest from Barrett to go talk to the lawyer just yet. I think I'm waiting on that. I need to get to sufficient affinity with him before I actually get a quest from him in order to go talk to his lawyer. So that's what we're working on now. Yeah, nothing from Barrett. I've got a super fan quest though. Uh, that one's gonna be a lot of fun. I gotta find um, some music for Boreal Us. Tell you what, I'm here, let's knock it out. Fiddler Helper says the buffs last indefinitely. Great, let's do it. Farbod Hemate with a super chat. Thank you so much, Farbod. A super tip. Looking to polish those flying skills? Well, the goal remains the same. Defeat as many opponents as you can before your ship is disabled. Defeat three tiers of opponents to complete the exam. Good hunting. 
Right, chat is saying that they stay throughout the entire thing, so as soon as these guys spawn in, I'm gonna hop New out. Target's active. And use the admin card. And then we'll attack. Debug tools. Check. 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 Justice FTX uh, says, Hey Ox, pleasure seeing you stream more Starfield. Hope you're enjoying your session today. Quick question for you. Are you aware of how the game chooses which companion... <laughs> Which companion dies in the main quest? Much love. Thank you, Justice FTX. I believe that we figured it out in my last broadcast. So yes, I think I am aware. Um, and we're actually trying to navigate through that right now. We're trying to increase Barrett's affinity so that we can actually complete his story before moving on with the primary plot wherein which one of the characters dies. Propulsion systems down. All targets eliminated. Oh, Progress right. recorded. Tier one reached. Initiating tier two. I didn't even have to do anything. New targets active. I like uh, third person mode for uh, space combat. I think I prefer first person mode. New targets active. Am I getting a crash? This is going to be my second crash in my Starfield playthrough. Crap. I'm crying out loud. Ooh. Okay. I mean, I wasn't even doing anything high intense right there. <sighs> Crap. Okay. Well, let's wait for it to uh, recycle here. Oh, and it's uh, downloading an update. 700 megabytes. Right. Well, it's already 60% done. Won't take us too long. And bingo.
Well, um, it's the game has been mostly stable for our playthrough. We've we've had very few glitches, really only two freezes and crashes in uh, my nearly 24 hours, over 24 hours of playing the game. Which is not great, but it's, you know, better than expected, I suppose. The big question is where it's going to put us. Continue. Vanguard Exam Center. When did they push this upgrade out? Was it just now? Oh man, so it was right here. Uh, I'm at nine of 30 now. Uh, I just lost like 20 minutes. those flying skills? Well, the goal remains the same. Defeat as many opponents as you can before your ship is disabled. Defeat three tiers of opponents to complete the exam. Good hunting. New targets active. Use the admin console. New targets active. Debug tools. Enabled. 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 Let's whip through this. New targets active. See how far I can go now. New targets active. Tier 5. This is 
is the one where I keep dying, isn't it? New targets active. Target defeated. Target the middle bridge. Okay, I need to let my weapons recharge. Okay, well, I got through uh, a lot there. Let's uh, try restarting there. Restart current tier. Simulation reset. Prepare for your first opponent. So I need or to restart separate the exam them. from the cockpit's system terminal. I need to separate them. So they, they, when I lock onto one, there are three other guys behind me. So I kind of need to play cat and mouse a little bit around um, among the asteroids. Is what I'm thinking I gotta do here. Let me try that. Because they knocked out my weapon system. Simulation reset. And then Prepare my engine, for your first opponent. Uh, while I was in the middle of trying to attack him.
your results, or restart the exam from the cockpit's system terminal. Well, that level is just crazy. It's just so many of them, and they knock out all of my systems as soon as they find me so that I can't even maneuver. So let's restart. Or no, let's not restart this tier. Let's start from the beginning again, because the entire point of this is just to, um... Shut it down. Rack up a lot of kills for this challenge. Let's do a quick save here, and let's see how we're doing. We're at 17 of 30. Well, we're above where we were when we had the crash. Let's knock these out. Where are you going? Over halfway there. Looking to polish those flying skills? Well, the goal remains the same. Defeat as many opponents as you can before your ship is disabled. Defeat three tiers of opponents to complete the exam. Good hunting. New targets active. So I just got recorded. my level. Tier two reached. Initiating tier three. Which means once I once I complete this challenge, I can spend my points on the next level of piloting and get my ship. Okay, New so target active. Nineteen. Less than 10 to go. As long as the game doesn't crash, I could do it either this one, if I'm really good, or the next one. New targets active.
that was rough. That was rough. New targets active. I can't boost. My engines have been harmed. Extermination or protocols active. I'm dead in the water. Halting simulation. Well done. You can now either exit through the simulator hatch to log your results, or restart the exam from the cockpit's system terminal. Okay, one more to go after this. All right, seven more to go. I can do that with one more. Looking to polish those flying skills? Well, the goal remains the same. Defeat as many opponents as you can before your ship is disabled. Defeat three tiers of opponents to complete the exam. Good hunting. New targets active. to do better than that. Target defeated. All targets eliminated. Progress recorded. Tier 2 reached. Four Initiating more. Tier 3.
Two more to go. All targets eliminated. Progress recorded. Tier 3 reached. Well done. You've cleared a sufficient number of tiers to complete the exam. You may now exit the simulator or stay and try your hand at the remaining enemy groups. Didn't do too well that time. Let's try and just restart this one. Because I only have two more to go. Simulation reset. Prepare for your first opponent. One more to go! All targets eliminated. Progress recorded. Tier 4 reached. Initiating Tier 5. Progress ends here. Halting simulation. Well done. You can now either exit through the simulator hatch to log your results, or restart the exam from the cockpit's system terminal. I think I only have one more to go, and I don't want to uh, belabor this, so let's step out. 
And then we'll just do... Shut it down. Sure enough, one more to go. Looking to polish those flying skills? Well, the goal remains the same. Defeat as many opponents as you can before your ship is disabled. Defeat three tiers of opponents to complete the exam. Good hunting. New targets active. Never have to do that again. All right, with that, we completed the piloting challenge. We've got a skill point, rank four, available. Boom, pilot class C ships. Yay. Let's go to the spaceport. and switch to our brand new shiny ship. This has been a long time coming. I think we've been trying to get this ship <laughs> access to it for, this is the third broadcast. Switch out. Got anything you need to offload? Trade authorities. Hey, what can I do for you? Okay, no problem. View and modify ships. We'll go Razor Leaf, Frontier, and Kepler R, let's make this the home ship. Yes! You have commandeered a new ship. If you land on a planet or grab jump to another star system, this ship will become your home ship. Any quest, objects, or passengers in your previous home ship will be transferred to your new home. It has 805 shield, room for six crew. It's got a cargo of 3,550. That's just so much so much <laughs> doesn't have any missiles but it's got lots of laser power lots of ballistic ammo much more shield much more energy it's just better look at this baby look at it oh yes Kepler R at long last Look at this enormous vessel. Oh, let's go for the full tour. We've got to explore the whole thing. It's a beauty. Up we go. Wow, now this is a flagship. Oh, I've got my own lockers. It's even got decorations already. As if people already live here. <laughs> and containers, hooray. Oh, wow. 
What is this? This is like a med bay. It's got its own med bay. Okay, well, it keeps going. This is so big. We came from another one of these navigation. No, we came from there. All right, so then we open the door here, and we've got a window there. So to continue exploring, we need to go up. Ooh, dining room. <laughs> it's, it doesn't necessarily make a lot of logistical sense. But it's got a huge cafeteria and a container with stuff in it. Hooray. Where does it, it keeps going up? Oh, I've built a vertical ship, haven't I? It's just stacked on top of itself. <laughs> One of these days I'll sit down and I'll craft a sexy ship. You know, something that's sleek and it's a dogfighter or something like that. But this. Scratches all the other itches. Cargo capacity, crew capacity. Did I just pass a hab? Okay, how do I walk this level? There we go. Got bunks and my own bed. That's my bed. What's this? Cockpit. Oh, look at the cockpit. It's so big. It's so much bigger. There's my captain's locker. Where's the cargo hold? There. Yes, it transferred. Let's see if I can store all my excess stuff. Inventory. Miscellaneous. Nope. Uh, resources. Store all resources. Uh, and I have the room. my beautiful cockpit. Look how high it is. Uh, this is going to be an interesting thing to wield in combat. Uh, let's go up. What's in the top floors here? If I keep going further. Oop. Bathroom. Personal groomer in the bathroom. Okay. We shall ask no questions. Does it keep going up? It does. There's another level here. Let's explore this level. It's a small storage level. Okay. And another small storage level on top. All right. Let's uh, work with our crew here and start assigning to my new ship. Doring Fan. Oh. Let's assign him to the Kepler. Assign Heller to the Kepler and Lynn to the Kepler. And Marika. You've reached the maximum number of crew assignments with your current ship command level. Ship command level? But it can have six. What does it mean, ship command level? All right, well then let's unassign him.
Okay, well, how do I update ship command? It's probably not in tech, it's probably in... Social? Ship command. It's the final tier of social. They say a ship is only as good as its crew, but that is contingent upon that crew having the right captain to lead. Spend seven more points in social to unlock master social skills. Art Pixel says noob leader need a skill for more free. Oh God, I just keep finding these barriers to entry. Well, I mean, it's okay because I wanna work on my persuasion. The next thing I want to unlock is my next level of persuasion, and that's going to allow me... Actually, I've already unlocked this tier. I need to spend seven more points on the social, but I also want to be able to upgrade my weapons. And that's locked over here somewhere. Or is it science? I think it's science. Or, God, where is it? I can never find this one. Art Pixel says, what about weapon mods? It's in tech. Yeah, that's what I was trying to find. Shields, payloads, engine systems. can't find weapon mods. This is all ship stuff. It's in science, says Thomas McCormick. Weapon engineering, this is it. One more point in science and I can unlock weapon engineering and then I can start doing mods. Which is something I want to do. I'm ready to upgrade geology. That'll put me the one more point in there that I need to unlock weapon engineering here. Okay, how am I doing on time? I've got time. Uh, let's see. Well, really want to, to finish off Barrett's Affinity. I wanted to do Ground Pounder. This seems like something that'll have action in it, and I haven't done very much combat. So let's... Uh, here we go. A distress call from Private Mahoney. Land at Research Outpost U309 on Altair 2. Let's go ahead and do it. And this is it. Here we go. <laughs> it looks like it has a bunch of shipping canisters stacked on top of it. Can I even zoom out? Yeah, all right, that's not too bad. Look at the back there. It looks like there's shipping canisters on top of it. Well, I don't have missiles on this one, though. That's, that's a problem. I should probably upgrade it so that it has missiles. Okay. I 
gotta power up the grab drive. Of course I do. Altair 2. Okay. Not a hostile planet. It's cold, but it's got high O2. We've got we've got water, uranium, argon, and benzene. Not necessarily a good place for an outpost, because you need iron, don't you, for a good outpost? This is one of the reasons why I haven't made an outpost yet, is I'm not sure exactly which resources I need to make. Uh, I need to choose on a planet for my first outpost, so I'll have to figure that out on my own later. to wonder if life was unique to our world. Not only is it not, but it seems to take every opportunity to emerge. I hear gunfire. Private Mahoney! Research outpost U309. out there. Ah, we can handle this. Huge magazine. Just huge. Two more. It's way, way too cold. This is absurd. Put your spacesuit on, Barrett. Or did I take it from you? I might have taken it from him on accident. made a mess. Bodies everywhere. Ooh, antiseptic calibrated ah, nice navigator spacesuit. Fine, let's go. Ha. I've run too. I mean, uh, come back. That's my new shoddy. <laughs> Shh. 
Jamin Cohen says, well, forget what I said about needing to build an outpost for storing all of your crap. These ISO con uh, contents in the rear should be all you need, Raffle. I know, it's huge. <laughs> this is exactly what I wanted. I just wanted a ship that would have everything. Just store everything. It's the kitchen sink ship. Storage, solid. Oh. These are lootable containers. The... Uh, space suit, skip pack. Yeah. Oh, a UC Marine. So they got hit by spacers. that a hunting bright cage oh wow that's an interesting creature what a cool looking creature that's a spider I don't like spiders A couple more containers over here. Copper. Nickel, thank you. Titanium. Right. Let's head inside. Ryan, I think I've got one back at camp, or whatever it's called. Uh, Art Pixel says maybe give Barrett some gear you're picking up. Yeah, but then that would take away from his carrying capacity. What if I need him to carry something? He's already carrying a ton of my weapons. Like he's got all a bunch of weapons on him. He's not gonna die. He'll be okay. <laughs> I mean, he is gonna die, but not right now. Okay, we've got conference, storage, research, and a dead spacer. Oh, scientist. God. They just came in here and massacred these people while they were in the middle of a meeting. Oh, here we go. New books. Dracula, I don't think I've read that. Wait, no, I have read that. Sword of Damocles? I have not read this. Damocles Grey looked up into the eyes of the reptilian high king and grinned. Well, Boots, I think it's time I made my exit, he quipped. Then, raising his wrist-mounted calm device to his mouth, he said the words he had uttered so many times before. Let's do it, baby! A second later, Damocles Grey's sleek chromium death ship crashed through the palace's stained glass dome, raining lasers on any lizard man its targeting computers could get a lock on. 
It's the sword! Everybody right! But the High King never got to finish his command because a gaping hole now stood in the space where his mouth used to be, blasted straight through by one of the ship's laser beam guns. The sword then came to a hover two inches off the ground right next to Damocles Grey. That's for Earth, you ugly iguanas, he said as he swung up into the cockpit and closed the canopy. Seconds later, there was no indication Damocles Grey had ever been on the planet Reptiliar Three, except for the pile of dead reptilians left in his wake. The science fiction novel Sword of Damocles was written by former Constellation Chair Vizola Chen after her retirement, writing under the pen name Victoria Star. Although over a million copies were printed, very few actually sold, <laughs> and eventually, <laughs> Chen decided to distribute the book for free. Now Sword of Damocles is something of a pop culture staple, and copies can be found throughout the settled systems. I can see why. Omega, The Last Days. The following is the opening of Camille Flamorian's 1894 work Omega, The Last Days of the World, in which a comet is set to collide with the Earth in the 25th century, and people must come to terms with the end of the world and what that actually means. Chapter 1. The magnificent marble bridge which unites the Rue de Rennes with the Rue de Louvre, and which, lined with the statues of celebrated scientists and philosophers, emphasizes the monumental avenue leading to the new portico of the Institute, was absolutely black with people. A heaving crowd surged rather than walked along the quays, flowing out from every street and pressing forward towards the portico, long before invaded by a tumultuous throng. Never in that barbarous age preceding the Constitution of the United States of Europe, when might was greater than right, when military de or despotism ruled the world and foolish humanity quivered in the relentless grasp of war, never before in the stormy period of a great revolution or in those feverish days which accompanied a declaration of war, had the approaches of the House of the People's Representatives or the Palace de la Concorde presented such a spectacle. It was no longer the case of a band of fanatics rallied about a flag, marching to some conquest of the sword, and followed by a throng of the curious and the idle, eager to see what would happen, but of the entire population, anxious, agitated, terrified, composed of every class of society without distinction, hanging upon the decision of an oracle, waiting feverishly the result of the calculations which a celebrated astronomer was to announce that very Monday, at three o'clock, in the session of the Academy of Sciences. Amid the flux of politics and society, the Institute survived, maintaining still in Europe its supremacy in science, literature, and art. The center of civilization, however, had moved westward, and the focus of progress shone on the shores of Lake Michigan in North America. And I believe we've read the last two. Right up or through that door to research one. Let's try up for now, see where that goes. Locked and requires a key. Storage too. No one's here, I told you. Right, well we can't go through there, we gotta go down. This is my silenced weapon. Ah, I smell credit. The end. You don't get me though. This is it. You're not taking me out. I'm making a mess.
and I'm loving every minute of it. Credits. Draft of reinforcement request. Draft U309 reinforcement request. I do not believe you understand the tactical situation. We cannot wait one week. We cannot wait even one day. We need reinforcements now, or it's... Well, they really needed reinforcements quick, didn't they? Reinforcements that never came. Oh, I can now speak with Kelton again. <laughs> All right, comm center, secure access. Calibrated Equinox and a shoddy. Okay, so that goes downstairs. Okay, before we do, we can't get through that door. We need to either open it with a terminal or use a cutter on another side. Hmm. Strange. Well, never mind. It's okay, Barrett. What's on your mind? Draft of reinforcement request. U309 reinforcement request. I do not believe you understand the technical re uh, situation. It's it's the same one. You're too tired. There are bodies just laying out here. What was that? And they each carry a ton of credits. Uh. Noise. Hallway. Door locked requires key. Wow, they're making us go in one direction here. Okay, well, we could go down. Okay, this leads to the hallway, but it's blocked. Right, we are going to have to come up another way. So, going down. Past the comm center, and down. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna need a new cigar for this. I'm also running out of coffee. Don Magic says, in one day I found a location with the same layout three times in a row. That started to happen to me too. In my last broadcast, I believe, we found a, a dungeon that had the exact same layout as one of the dungeons we explored in my first broadcast. And it was a story dungeon, too. It wasn't even a randomly generated one. It was one that we came upon during uh, our follow of the, the Constellation quests. Okay.
Oh god! Poor guy! Ow! Orchid merchant? Did we read the orchid merchant? I love you, said the orchid merchant, and I love you, my dearest, said Vincenza in return. But our passion, how long can it last? For our families will never approve of our union. Perhaps not, my dearest Vincent Vincenza. Perhaps not, he said, pushing an orchid into her lovely black hair. But we don't need them anyway. The Orchid Merchant, written by Carlita Carr and published in 2325, has become one of the fastest selling romance novels in the settled systems. I still need bad people, bad jokes too. It's the only joke book that I haven't read yet. Right. Let's try storage. Oh. Ugh. Thank God. I figured if I talked myself hoarse on the comms, the cavalry would come. I was expecting some free star militia, but any port in a storm, I guess. <clears throat> All right, we got a couple of options here. We could say, what are you doing in a closet. I mean, we know what she's doing in a closet, but we can ask. When comms was overrun, I did a tactical retreat to this, this, uh, yeah, this utility closet. Hey, I'm just glad I'm in one piece. We can pass a United Colonies Vanguard captain check to say, actually, you got the UC Van Vanguard to thank. The what? <gasps> As if this couldn't get any weirder. Before spacers broke into the outpost, I was relaying orders for Lieutenant Torres. Torres ain't bad as far as COs go, but we'd have been flat out murdered if it weren't for the, and I can't believe I'm saying this, the UC Marines. So, and this is important. You see a Marine, don't shoot. They're friendlies. Just a few years ago, that would be unthinkable. My, how things have changed. Okay. Didn't you guys fight a war with them not too long ago? We most certainly did. The whole situation isn't exactly standard operating procedure. After we clear the outpost, I'll talk your ear off about the whole situation. But right now, clock's ticking. Got it. Marines good, spacers bad, or anyone willing to fight spacers is good in my book. No arguments here. So first things first, the makeshift infirmary isn't gonna hold. They set up on the ground floor in the security section. The whole place is on lockdown, so you'll have to find a way there. Talk to, um, uh, Lazama. He's the only thing between them and, well, you get the picture. Can you give me the tactical breakdown? When Torres triggered the lockdown, I was with Lazama and the doctor in security, but the lockdown cut us off. Last I knew, Torres was fighting in the complex. <sighs> Somewhere. The Marines were guarding the back entrance. No idea what's up with them, but... That intel's old. Sorry, that's all I got. Don't worry, I'll make sure the infirmary stays safe. You are something else. Be safe, be bold. A dead soldier ain't no help to no one. Okay, clear the spacers outside the infirmary and talk to Lazama. Well, um, I really hope I don't accidentally hit one of these marines. Friendly fire, not something I'm terribly good at. But I have to be very careful. All right, so she ran off. Looks like we need to go this way. Can't wait to see what. Right? And she's okay. 
She's invincible. She can't die. She just walked straight into combat. Terminals? Nope. Alright, we need to go that way. But let's finish looting. Okay, and we never did finish this room up here because we got attacked. So let's go through it methodically. Okay, so this is the blockage on the other side of the hallway that we saw previously. Okay, I think that's it. out of trouble, can you, Barrett? Stay close to me, and we're doing stealth right now. Don't wander off up the stairs, please. On me! Company! Need assistance! No! Under fire! Damn it! Where are they coming from? Thanks for the help there, Barrett. When I don't need you, you're running off and getting aggro. When I do need you, you're not there. Requires key, can't use the stairs. Requires key, can't get inside. Oh, that's, I already looted that room. Okay, comm center. 
I believe that's where we need to go. They're all holed up in there. I'll open the door in just a minute. Ooh. All these poor scientists. It was just a massacre. Patty melt. Gonna eat myself a patty melt. Boom pop reactor. Where's my patty melt? Is that all the food I've got? There you go, multi pack. Veggie grinder. <laughs> All right, not enough to fully heal me. Hey, another paramour. One second. Need to do something really quick. Be right back. Okay, thank you for your patience. Sorry about that. Take care of something real quick. Grabbed a Coke so I don't dehydrate while doing this. And we're back. Save. Actually, let's do a hard save here. There have been a few times when I've wanted to load a hard save halfway through exploring a dungeon so that I can 
unlock containers and stuff for a video. Von Rex says, Barrett sounds like a typical Bethesda companion. Never around when you need them, unless they're training the entire dungeon on top of you. <laughs> Loving the videos and shorts. Thanks. As long as he doesn't step in front of me when I'm about to throw a grenade or shoot, I'll be happy because he tends to like to do that. All right, comm center. Don't kill the Marines. This is it. Corporal what? Azama. You think he's a spacer? He's the one that cleared him out. Corporal Azama. You see Marines, medic. We thought we were done for. I'm... I'm... <sighs> and meet the esteemed doctor. Musa, right? It's his party we're crashing. <clears throat> Are the wounded okay? We've lost too many good soldiers and scientists to the spacers. But everyone here is stable and will recover. Assuming we can clear the outpost of spacers. Private Mahoney sent me. Mahoney's a machine. She's wasted on this rock. And this... Uh, what the heck are you guys doing here anyway? Doctor. Doctor. Yes. I mean... Yes. Astrobiology. We study non-Terran life forms in the settled systems. We, uh, seek to understand the various flora and fauna and search for practical uses. What sort of uses are we talking about? Medicinal, industrial, or just understanding how life propagates. We work purely on non-military applications. It's part of our charter. Well, I don't think spacers care about your research. No, no offense. No. They've... They've been trying to take over the whole system. For months. Listen, we can't waste time. The Freestar CEO, Lieutenant Torres, he locked down the complex. I'm not sure how long he can keep his troops safe. Last I saw Torres was on the third floor, near my office. Take this key and get to Torres. It should open everything except the security doors. Get to Torres before his men are wiped out. Good luck. Oh, do I have a ticking clock? Please, no ticking clock. Okay. No ticking clock. So I can take my time and loot. Thank you. Oh, it's grizzly. Blood everywhere. Oh, you dead? Is that person dead? No, not dead. Just recovering. Our right, secure access and the, of course the release is broken. This must have been the secure access door we saw on the other side that we couldn't get through. All right, recovering. Hey, what are you guys doing up there? Just chilling out. So many Don't doctors the spaces here. realize we're trying but to help besides them. one vet, help no everyone. one can even hold a scalpel right. Hey, wake up. Uh, it's morning. Hello, hello. Are you okay? Are you supposed to be walking? I mean, maybe you're blind, and that's okay. I will okay. treat any patient in my care to the best of my ability. I'm not going to no judge. No matter who they are. All right, let's. Well, let's talk to this guy. All of this violence. It's so senseless. Okay. Well, I'm okay. here. Titanium rip shank. Right, so he gave me a key to his stairs, so this is a dead end. I need to go back to the staircase that I found earlier, but we'll loot it. everybody while they were sitting down and eating it's like they appeared just on top no more target practice 
The lieutenant shut down the firing range. Says the noise disturbed the scientists on their power walking breaks. <laughs> of course they've got power walking breaks. Goofiest thing I ever saw. The scientists pumping their arms and walking circles around the building. Their faces all intense like they're in a battle. Doesn't Torres know that target practice serves a purpose? It keeps our edge. I'm not sure what the hell their walking does. <laughs> The scientists got to have their power walking breaks. Don't want to disrupt that. Oh, you all right? Something's off on her. She's dead in a very alive sort of way. She must have been doing too much power walking. She's power walking even in death. Right. We've got a key. We've got a staircase. Let's go open the stairs. One? No. Okay. The mark's mine. Ah! Those are also. Shit! I'm gonna find you. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I love this gun. It's brutal. Okay, we need to go up, but we've got a lot to explore on this, this lab level. Take what? Well, so far, it sounds like the experiments that they were doing here weren't, like, <clears throat> anti-humane or anything. Just a bunch of xenobiology, which is pretty normal. We'll see if that holds up. Okay, so they're likely up there, or maybe down that hallway somewhere. All right, they must be upstairs. And they're responding to um, the noise of me walking. Hey, oh man. Okay. where they were. Coachman. Have we seen a coachman yet? 
Oh, yeah, we have. Alright, I don't need that. Getting a lot of digipics, but so far very few containers to actually hack. Furious combat knife. Pacifier and a razorback, don't need them. I was kind of hoping that we would get some uh, lore that talks about what research they were doing here. Instead, much of the lore that we've gotten has to do with this attack that we are currently um, responding to. Well, before we take the stairs, let's see if there's anything in this lab. Just more murder and mayhem. No way for me to stealth into that. Guys in front of me, guys behind me. Love this gun! That's <laughs> just so fast! It's great! Was I? Uh, let's see where we came from so that I can find a point of reference from which to... Okay, so there's the staircase. That's where we came from. What gun is that, says Uli M. I picked it up in my, my last broadcast. It's the Med Theft Modified Shoddy. It's an epic shotgun. Uh, it's got bashing damage, which... I guess I should bash with it more often. And then Med Theft, chance to drop extra med packs on death with three mods. 55 physical damage, 60 fire rate, and it takes a very common ammunition. Just die already!
Okay, another staircase going down. I wonder if this is going to make a connection to another place that we've already explored or... Yeah. What? You won't get me, though! Okay. Well, I found myself with this! He tried to run! Where was he going? I almost died there because I was getting too cocky. Let's do a quick save. <laughs> okay, so this is the other side of a blocked in hallway. And we explored that lab. This leads to reception and the office. Will our key open it? Uh, no. I can't uh, open that, but at least we cleared it out. Okay, we looted research. Now let's loot this room. No terminals yet, still no lore about what actually was researched here. Oops, didn't need that. All right, that's where we need to go for the quest. That's where we came from. Let's look this room over here. Oh man. Creatures, yeah, that's right. They told us that they were uh, experimenting on creatures. She's got a twitchy leg. Ooh, small creatures too. No bodies left though. No bodies of the creatures they were experimenting on. Okay, we came from autopsy. So, that's everything. Let's do a quick save here. Eric Arbicard. Like I said, someone's been taking out the spacers. I... I don't believe it. We've lost so many people. Are they all gone? Thanks to the stranger, every last one of them is down. Some fancy work there. How many more are there with your unit? You got sniper support or something? <laughs> I'm just more cautious about you two. Or, you know, I gave the sniper the day off. And the artillery, too. Or not, nah, it's just the two of us. Let's say I gave the sniper a day off. Wait, you're serious? You did all of that. You're welcome. No pictures, please. We have to help Captain Myung. She's behind the barrier door. But she's not Freestar, Lieutenant. Our first priority is our men and our scientists. She came in to save us, Sergeant, when no one else would. I will not leave her out to dry. <clears throat> the UC came here to help? What? We were hours from being overrun, and then Myung and her marines landed. And they saved us. We were desperate, so we just welcomed them. Together, we've managed to hold the outpost. Why the captain came to our aid? Oh, you'd have to ask her. I look forward to meeting this Captain Myung. She's... something else. But, Lieutenant, they're the UC. We can't... Sergeant... I am ordering you to help us save those marines. But how? We got a security override key. If the marines are still alive, they'll be by the other entrance. We all work together. We should be able to save them. Or die trying. They are soldiers that need us. Are you... up for it? 
We could really use your help. I'm happy to help. I'm not a charity. Some payment for services rendered may be appropriate, or I won't see good marines die. Good. Here's the security key. You take point. The captain's down one floor. Okay, down one floor. Rescue Captain Myung. Not before I loot. Loot, loot, loot. What do we got? Ooh. Ear grub display. Ear grub. Oh. I don't know if that's worse than cysty pigs or better, but an ear grub? Ew. No thanks. Calibrated lawgiver. But it's not an epic. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, give me all the credits. Just the sticks and the money and yeah! Payday! <laughs> Dracula and Dover Beach. Dover Beach is new. <clears throat> Our love, let us be true to one another. For this world which seems to lie before us like a land of dreams, so various, so beautiful, so new, hath really neither joy, nor love, nor light, nor certitude, nor peace, nor help of, for pain. And we are here, as on a darkling plain, swept with confused alarms of struggle and flight, where ignorant armies clash by night. So reads the final stanza of Matthew Arnold's stirring poem, Dover Beach, World War II. Okay. Guess I'll take a point, but we got the key. Wow, what a mess. This. <laughs> right. Well, uh, we need to go down those stairs that we found earlier. If I can figure out how to get back there. Oh, they're gonna follow me. Over. It was over here, wasn't it? Office. Reception. Let's do a hard save here. To the Marines proud! Let's move! Your rats finally showed up. Could have used you before Dalton bought it. That Stand down, Private. What matters is they're here now. And who the hell do we have here? Another scientist? No. Truthfully, we would still be pinned down if it weren't for them. Well, I'll be. There is nothing like using that gravity power, sending them all flying. And then just taking out my super fast shoddy. Bo, 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 bo. That was wonderful. Huh. You don't got the look of a Marine. Certainly not the militia. Who are you? Well, let's see. I'm with Constellation. I picked up your distress call. Just a captain that picked up a distress call. Spacers are a plague on the settled systems. I take any chance I get to deal with them. Or we could say no, but I'm in the Vanguard. All right, we'll pass that. Huh. More UC bailing the FC out. Captain Myung, UC Marines. Veteran of the Colony Wars, the shield of Paduk Pass. Best damn Marine in the service. Okay, Tsai, brown noser. <laughs> and that loud mouth is Private Tsai. If she wasn't such a hell of a soldier, she'd be polishing latrines for the next decade. <laughs> You've saved lives here, and that is something I won't forget. Even I've heard of you. You're a big deal in the UC. I just managed to stay alive, mostly. Don't believe everything you see on the news. 
The news is really more of a boring reality show most of the time. The captain and all her marines. Oh, we'd all be dead if it weren't for them. You lot may be Freestar, but your ground pounders first. I wasn't about to let you all die ignobly to those rabid spacer bastards. <clears throat> we get a damn fine me to meet you, Captain, or I can't believe the UC Command is alright with us. Or what happened at Parduke Pass? Interesting. I don't recall a Parduke Pass. War happened. Parduke Pass is a graveyard now. Lots of good soldiers, both sides, are buried there. Captain Myung held that pass for a week against the best mechs the Free Star could throw at us. When she pulled out, she blew up the whole damn pass. Took out a full mech battalion. Might have saved the entire nearer front. Don't believe the propaganda, Private. Paduk Pass was dirty business all around. Hmm. That's why you're helping them? You guys were at war not too long ago. Look around. Nobody here is my enemy. Torres and his men? They're just poor SOBs posted in the arse end of nowhere. Just like my marines. We have more in common with each other than the damn politicians back home. Damned fine to meet you, Captain. Damned fine. You've got spirit. That's what we need right now. We've bought ourselves an old-fashioned stay of execution here. But it won't last long. The bastards are disorganized, undisciplined rabble. But they got spaceships and we don't. That means they can keep dropping reinforcements until they greatly outnumber us. Then the cowards will hit us. Hard. Can't we just leave? Your ship can't get everyone away. And there's nowhere to run they can't drop people on. I don't think the spaces will give us enough time to properly fortify, but we can entrench. Establish the fire lanes. We can make them walk through a goddamn kill field. Well, then it sounds like we've got our work cut out for us. Give me a few years and I'd make you a Marine to be feared. <laughs> I have a more immediate problem, Captain. I have troops and civilians in the field. If we don't act, the spaces could take them out. I can't abandon them. Damn it. What sort of leader would you be if you did? But we need every trained soldier to fortify and get the defenses back online. Mahoney said their last transmission indicated they were in trouble. If you could perhaps take your ship to the research camp and clear out any spaces. You would be so screwed if I weren't here. Or in for a penny, in for a pound, I guess. Or I'll take care of it. Let's do in for a penny. I... I know this is asking a lot. But lives are... at stake. Just go quickly and safely. Okay, take your ship to the research camp on Altair 2. Not before I loot. Another Paramore. I found more Paramore this broadcast than I have the entire rest of the game. This fight may be the proudest one I've ever been in. Wow. I hope the research camp is all right. We haven't heard from them in hours. Has to be safe. Just go quickly. I will, don't worry, but I'm looting. Alien pie. Whoa, auto medic calibrated US UC Marine space suit. Cobalt hyper catalyst. An exotic organic resource. Monopropellant. Michael Seacrest says, Eargrub is a reference to the Wrath of Khan. Oh, man, I remember that now. Haven't seen that movie since I was a kid, but man, I remember that scene. 
That was disgusting. David Copperfield. War of the Worlds, Bad People, Bad Jokes 3. Is there even a Bad People, Bad Jokes 2? I can't seem to get the second book of jokes. Disassembler Orion. Nice. Right. <clears throat> I think that's everyone. And of course, Barrett is just sitting out here chilling. Well, seeing the Freestar Collective and the UC work together raises my hopes. A wonderful bit of camaraderie. Okay, so I came out here and cleared them earlier. We've gone through the entire facility. Let's eat and heal up real quick. Meal pack sushi, meal tray. That doesn't put me where I need to. Let's try the uh, bandages because they take carry weight. Oh no, that uh, treats contusions and lacerations. All right, so we want we don't want to waste that just yet. That's what we'll do. And there's my monstrosity of a ship. Glad to know us Marines aren't the only ones crashing this party. <laughs> These militia rats, they're better than I thought they'd be. What do you think of Lieutenant Torres? Torres is green, no two ways about it. But there's more to command than experience. There's heart. My guess is Torres has a bright future ahead of him. Are you sure you're a UC officer? Propaganda paints us all as villains and heroes. The truth's messier. We're all of us just human beings. With families, ideals, and empathy. I've seen too many of us poor bastards pay the price for some damned fool order from command. I've had enough. We could say I think the lieutenant is weak. Or we could say Torres's good heart isn't enough to save us, and I think we'll go with that. True enough. To get out of this, the price will be paid in blood. Thank you, Caesar. <clears throat> what are you doing on Altair? We operate a refueling depot. The brass back home got tired of spaces hitting the damn place, so they sent us. As soon as we showed up, the spaces went for easier targets. <laughs> it's been one hell of a boring assignment until now. Austin on Facebook says, Hey Ox, longtime viewer, feel like I might get my comment seen on here more likely than YouTube. If you didn't know, there's a few companions at Aquila City. If you didn't know, they're located at the bar right inside the city. Thank you, Austin. Do you mean companions, companions, or crew? Because I know that you can purchase crew members um, at all of the bars in the major cities. Why did you really come out to help the Freestar? I will not lie. I wrestled with it. We listened to the distress calls for hours, and it gnawed on me. At a certain point, I just couldn't sit on the sidelines and let them die. So you made a tough call then, but it wasn't your fight? Or I couldn't just sit on the sidelines either. You being here proves that. Since I've been here, I know what I did was right. Lieutenant Torres may be green, but he's a good man. 
His troops are brave, worthy of their uniform. Together, we have a fighting chance. If I get court-martialed over this whole boondoggle, at least I can look myself in the mirror at night. Good on ya. Let's get this done. Okay. To the ship. To the massive, hulking ship. Such a beauty. Right, I think I'm encumbered. Let's uh, deal with some... Oh, that's a beautiful am a animation. Just coming out of the cockpit like that. They've got a different animation for every... Every one, don't they? Uh, where's cargo? There it is. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, store all of my resources. Then let's go through aid and store the aid that I will use for crafting. Then I think I've got an onion that I need to put in there. All right, that puts me at 136. Actually, let's go to my safe there. And I'll store weapons and armor that I don't need there. There's the disassembler Orion that I got. Calibrated Grendel, don't need that. Furious combat knife, we'll sell it. There's the titanium rip, rip shank. Deals double damage to targets at full health. Hi. Almost done. Radioactive randomly deals radioactive damage and demoralizes the target. Titanium build. Premium build materials make this weapon light as a feather. It's got a .02 mass. It is indeed light as a feather. But I kind of like my titanium axe here. It's also light, but it's got dissimilar and staggering on that. I think I looted a bunch of spacesuits that I don't need. And helmets. That puts me at 102. Nice combat stance there, Barrett. Okay, well, uh, Barrett, do you have anything to say? Hold on. I've got to get something off my chest. Yay! I don't like where your head's at lately. What? The things you've done, they're just wrong. Astronomically, cosmically wrong. Now, I'm going to stick with you, Dusty. What? Maybe I'm just uh, naive, but I still believe there's a heart in there somewhere. Let's not resort to an x-ray to prove it. What just happened? What? <laughs> I've been working to improve my affinity with this guy. The entire broadcast. I used Paramour when doing quests to improve my affinity. I got multiple points of affini affinity while doing side quests. When did I do anything wrong that pissed him off? What could I possibly have done to piss him off? I'm gonna I'm gonna have to rewatch the broadcast to see if there was ever a moment where I like attacked a civilian on accident or I just saved a bunch of marines. What did I do to make him angry? <laughs> Six hours and I'm walking backwards with Barrett. The entire point of this is so that I can finally get his quest done. Because I want to see how it ends, but what? Where did that come from? I'm so mad. That just angers me. Can this wait, or is it actually important? And now he's pissed off at me. How about no? Can I say no? Look no. Look at this. Now he's pissed off at me. And he won't, he won't answer my personal questions now. Uh, no. Just no. Wow. How could, how could that have happened? What did I do? Welcome what back. did I do? All oh, that makes me so mad. I mean, at this point, I might as well just go finish the- Hey, how's it going? The Constellation quest, because 
It's gonna take God knows how long to get back in his good graces. What did I do? I don't... <laughs> Tyler says you pirated Petrov. Wasn't Petrov his buddy? I mean, yeah, but that happened a long time ago in my last broadcast, and I had to do it for the quest. There was no peaceful way to get the artifact from Petrov. I tried. I tried to find any hatch that would allow me to steal it without knowing, uh, letting Petrov know. There was nothing I could have done. Pirating and looting, I haven't pirated this entire broadcast. I've been looting and I have been talking to him repeatedly. So if Petrov was really the thing that caused him to hate me, he should have had this conversation with me a while ago. <sighs> okay. I mean, let's focus on the quest at hand. We need to go to... We, we finished that... Re it's another part of the moon, right? Yeah, or the planet. To this research camp. Oh my god, Barrett. Did I, did I do a hard save? I think I did. Let's do another one just in case. I'm out of time. I've been broadcasting for six hours. I was so thrilled. I'm like, yes, he finally has something to say to me. And he just lays into me, just dishes it out. He's so pissed off at me because of what I've done. And I'm just gobsmacked. I have no idea what I could possibly have done. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I guess we'll try and resolve this tomorrow. Thank you for joining me, everybody. Uh, we've got another quest here that we need to finish, and um, I'm going to do that in tomorrow's broadcast. I'm out of time today, so thanks, everybody. I'm working on my lore videos. I'm going to try and get one done for tomorrow. I'm going to try and get another one done for the weekend. We'll see. But definitely more live streams, more Starfield live streams all this week while the game is still fresh and while we're all enjoying it. And hopefully I'll, I'll figure out this crazy companion affinity system because I'm just at, an, at a loss. I'm at a loss. I can't explain it. I don't know. Evan Johnson says, check your crime log for murder and assault. Yeah, I mean, it was at zero. It was at zero when I checked earlier. Crime. Zero assaults. Zero murders. Zero trespasses. Zero times arrested. Zero pockets picked. I mean, I stole a few items, but not this broadcast. And if I had done anything that angered him, I should have seen something that told me that he disapproved. No acts of piracy. No, no times caught with contraband. I had one bounty in my last broadcast, which I've already paid off. Like, there's no explanation. There's no explanation. I don't get it. I'm thinking it's a glitch. Christopher Weaver says, maybe when you took the mech parts, maybe, but then I got caught and I gave the mech parts back and I was paying attention and I didn't see him say that Barrett disliked this or anything. But you know, even then Barrett is not one of the companions that hates stealing. It's Sarah that hates stealing. Barrett doesn't really care. He just doesn't like murder. And as long as I don't murder people and assault the helpless or whatever, it's okay. Maybe he knows that I'm trying to get him killed. <laughs> Thank you for that one, Aaron Johnson. Zartet says, don't sell yourself short, Ox. You are very good at friendly fire. That may be the issue, at least in part. I mean, maybe I was thinking so, but then we just checked my crime statistics. No assaults. Friendly fire would have counted as an assault, but no assaults. Anyway, I gotta go. Uh, thanks everybody for joining me. I'm maybe if you guys can, if the, if those of you watching the the video on demand can see if there was ever a point in this broadcast where I did something that pissed him off, let me know and timestamp it for me so I can go back and figure out what I did. But uh, otherwise, I'm just completely confused. But we'll try to get to the bottom of it tomorrow. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you all again very soon with more lore videos and more live streams. Bye bye everybody.